everyone welcome along we are back as the women's series continues myself and gobber here most of the weekend how we doing buddy hello hello there uh welcome along everyone chat room one and all the race for the match play grand slam world championship all hots up as the women's series returns we've had a first block of four this year however the match play race started last year um look bo's done and dusted at the top she won't be caught but for everyone else gob it's an interesting it's an interesting block this one because there was some surprises last time out especially in the race for the world championship and it's can they do it again and stop the established getting back control Yeah, I mean, none more so than possibly the, the relative failings of Lisa Ashton and Fallon Sherrick so far. They have been one and two in this women's series since its exception, minus the one season where Dieter Hedman poked their nose in. And that's been shaken up a little bit this season. Bo Grey's obviously come in and, and won as many events as she has and been truly dominant. But when she has faltered, or been pushed or, or made a final against someone. It's been against Makura Suzuki, so it's been a complete swap around at the top so far. Oh, completely, yeah. And look, top spot it, it is gone, done, dusted. But for the rest of them, it's also that importance of making sure you're in the match play and in the hunt for that top three. Yeah. Oh, massively. And that match play is huge. You, you think of the exposure it gave some of the players last year that perhaps hadn't done it yet. Uh, you look at um, the likes of Katie Sheldon, Chloe O'Brien playing in that last year. They would have loved that experience. And I'd be telling everyone just about how good it is as well. Yeah, oh, completely. Unsurprisingly, Aurora vs. Fallon is first on the stream. <laughs> Ooh, how convenient. <laughs> As some might say. Look, we, we, we were talking like this off as we were setting up, Gob. There is a real need now for this to be straight unseeded. Um, I think so. I mean... Some of the first round matches we've just got are ridiculous as well. We've got Fallon versus Aurora to start. Um, I think there was a Anastasia versus Lisa game in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's have a quick look at some of the first round standout ties. Just need to change my view. Uh, big game in there for Eleanor Cairns against Adriana Van Vegan and Vermaat. We've got Rihanna Sullivan against Makuru Suzuki as a round one matchup. Uh, Robin Byrne against Rianne Griffiths. Zoe Jones against Corin Hammond. Great to see Zoe back last series. Noelin Van Leuven against Lorraine Hyde. Tori Kewish against Kirsty Chubb. Let's have a look in the bottom half. Where's that board on? Lisa Ashton against Anastasia de Bromislova. Uh, 
Vicky Pilgrim, Ross Bulma. Dieter Hedman against Almudena Fayado Ayuso. Uh, morning, Matthew. How are we doing? Um, but yeah, it's just going to set me stream board up as well. Uh, Lisa Ashton has got Anastasia de Bromislova round one. Horrid. On PDC TV, they've now got 10, 15. Are they pushed back 10 minutes, um, 15 minutes? It would look it. The games aren't live. so Yeah. Uh, it was meant to be 10, but it looks like they're going 10, 15 now. It would appear. But yeah, look, it's, it, it, it's an interesting time for, for the women. Look, the numbers are down slightly on last time, but that's due to a, uh, the massive factor is there are still county games on this weekend. Yeah. And we're still, a pro, we're still over the 100 mark, which is still... Oh, still, still, still amazing. There's still a block to go before Blackpool. Like, this is sort of one of those middle ones where because there's nothing riding on it, it's a bit... Not nothing riding on it. There's nothing immediately following it. Yeah. There's still time for people to go back and correct things. I do know that, for instance, Dieter Hedman has gone the opposite way. So it is county this weekend, and her county team are in action. Um, but she is here. I was quite surprised at that. Uh, I knew earlier in the week. Um, I happen to be in the Oxfordshire County Facebook page. Um, and it was a promise that Dieter made to her sponsors to attempt to be in Blackpool. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. Um, look, I think she's got a lot to do, though. If I'm being honest. Mhm. Mm I think a lot of them do, and <laughs> this draw doesn't make it any easier, does it? No. Um, oh, but, by the way, <clears throat> what did everyone think? Did everyone like our new intro? We have a live game between Emma Smith and Nanako Shimuzu. Where are we going, featured Philip? Um, where are we going? Have a look. I'm trying to multitask, it's not working. Two seconds. I think. the first lot of games I would quite like Bruce Vanderville against Shea Cole 
because I, there was something to look at in Shay Cole last time out, and I wanted to see if she can replicate it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that she's travelled again. Yes. Um, Andrew, no, if, if she doesn't qualify, she doesn't qualify. Look, I, I am a firm believer in, in all sports that the defending champion should automatically be in to def- be able to defend their title. But that's not the case in, in a lot of darts events specific that if, if she doesn't qualify, she doesn't qualify. Where are you on that one, Gob? Should the defending champion always be in? Where am I on defending? What's that? You say, where am I on defending? Yeah, should, should the defending champion always be in? Um, I don't think so. I don't so like I, just I, giving I, that spot up for one of them. I don't, but I always think the defending champions should be given the opportunity to defend their title. They are, but they get a year to make sure they're in that position to do so. Yeah, but they're not guaranteed to be in. Well, I think they should be. No. I I do like the fact that tennis will protect your ranking if you're injured. Yeah. I think that that's completely different. Whereas, no, just given the opportunity because of what you've done previously, no. We may have a problem there. What's that? I'll just have to shrink it a little bit. Um, uh, Matthew says, any new champions this weekend? I don't think so. What do you reckon, Gob? I can't see it. This is strange. So, so it appears that any board that has four one two eight games is playing two first games at the same time. Really? There's there's only sixteen boards, or six. Yeah, the the draw has been done into sixteen boards, but. There's 19 currently in play on board four. Felicia Blair has won the lap on Iran Van Vigeren. And Sabrina Jongenotta has won the lap on Marlene Badger. So it looks like they're fully aware of issues where players have been waiting around. And any board that has four 1-2-8 games is playing two at the same time to start the tournament to get them 
level with other boards that only have three one two eight games? I don't dislike that. No. I'm quite a big fan of that actually. Yeah. The only issue is I'm struggling to fit it all on one screen for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm. I, 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 I don't dislike that. Fat Fallon's name has now dropped off the screen. Ooh. That's not normal. What isn't? They're not scalping the scoreboard to go in the PDC star, so they are just using the, the Arc Connect one, which means we can see the running average. Boss, that one. Where's that? On the stream. Oh, yeah, I've just seen. That's interesting. Of course, but shut up, Abby. <laughs> Poor Abby, man. <laughs> no, we haven't. What's that? No one's averaging anywhere near enough to have had a nine dollar. Couple of players racing out into 2 0 leads, so they include Lorraine Wynn Stanley and Sharon Stratma Pull. Fallon Sherrick takes the opener against Aurora Fochisato. Shay Carl just leveled up against Roos van der Velde. Kirsty Chubb is 2 0 up on Tori Kewer. She was only averaging 50. Now, Tori struggled in the last block, didn't she? She wasn't feeling very well. So that's yeah. not a good line to start with right now. Laura Turner's taking the opener against James Shearing. Katie Sheldon finds herself behind to Jan Robbins. Um, we've had a nine die. Yeah, but that, that wasn't on the women's series. That was on the challenge tour. Oh, we're talking about that. I get it now. Just looking at um, Aurora's action. There's a lot to like about it, Gob. It's still solid. It's something I wouldn't replicate at release. I think the angle of the dart, when she pulls it back, is too low. She's almost vertical with it. When it's back at a chin, look. She uses quite a short dart, as in the, a short barrel, doesn't she? Looks it. Don't you be bashing short darts. Knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, as in the, 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 the barrel seems shorter than the, the normal standard barrel. Come on in chat room. Who wins today, by the way? Get your predictions in early. I'm not having any of this. Oh, I said she'd win it in four hours' time. That's <laughs> not, not how we work here. Yeah? Uh, never has been, never will be. Uh, good morning. Great to have you all with us. Na, 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 na. Right, what do I want? I want that one I thought that was it I couldn't remember the name I suppose all eyes got on Kim Holden a little bit here because she currently sits fourth after the opening weekend on the order of merit it's it's can she replicate those performances I think she's on the same board as Fallon as well if I'm not mistaken she might even play the winner of this uh, Lorraine Wynn Stanley is your first winner this morning. Though she's a 4 0 victor over Carly Townsend, an 84 average for Lorraine. Elsewhere, Courtney Hine finds herself 3 0 up. Uh, Alma Dana Fayado Ayuso is 2 1 up on Dita Hedman. Uh, Trina Gulliver finds herself behind. She's 2 1 down to Amy Evans. Just looking at the, the, the players that are already in white that aren't playing this weekend, and most of them are county players. Let's have a look. Boys. I'm guessing Barbara Hospodersky is in Prague this weekend. Potentially. There's another 4 0 winner today, Sharon Stratzman. Pull 4 0 over Suzanne Smith. It's a bit of a bit of an upset. For that scoreline, yeah. Yeah. Just looking at the, the, the overall table, God, that Lisa sitting in 10th just looks strange. Yeah. We're just so used to seeing the name right at the top, aren't we? And yeah. The upturn and the rise of Bo Greaves in the women's series seems to have come as the downturn of Lisa Ashton has occurred. Fallon Sherrick struggled to find and replicate the same form we've seen from her previously. However, she has just touched 90 in the average 4 0, 89 7 3 win over Aurora Fachisato. Uh, Rebecca Hoyland also threw 4 0, uh, 69 average for her. Yeah. I'm trying to say this nicely without going over the top, but it's hard. When did Tori Hewis get this bad? I can't remember what she was struggling with last time, but I do it's question right. if it's still there now. Was it her eyes? It was her eye, yeah. Because... Look, the, the last one, like you can say she was struggling with the eye, we, we, we get it. But if you've still got that problem, 
then surely you wouldn't put yourself through it again. I don't know. It depends. Won't she have travelled with Priscilla? Quite possibly, yeah. So if you're going to travel, you might. It's a bit like. Um... Who is it? Isn't there a third Frenchman that travels with Thibault and Jacques? Steve just Martin. plays because it just plays because it's better than sitting around and doing nothing. Possibly, you know, I, 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 I get it. It's just not the the, the, the Tory Kewish that we saw at Lakeside. Yeah. Dita Hedman's in trouble here. She's 3-1 down to Amadina, Almadina Fayado Ayuso. Again, arguably, we've, we've, we've seen the, the, the best of Dita now. The, these, the, the big performances that we once saw from her regularly are now few and far between. Look, she's been and will always be an unbelievable ambassador for the sport. But in terms of playing now at the highest level, those, those days look a little bit numbered. Yeah. I just I just think the level's gone up beyond what she was producing anyway. There's, there's, yeah. That's twofold, isn't it? It's like the rest of the sport has grown at a level just slightly beyond what she was producing. Yeah, yeah. At the very top, anyway, as she started to decline a little. Look, and, and, that, and that doesn't detract from the fabulous player that she is. Uh, Laura Turner seals a 4 0 victory over Jane Shearing. Again, the average not amazing, but it's the win that is important. Lindsay Glaudemann's a 4-1 win over Sandra Page. Uh, Katie Sheldon spun this one around, Gob. She's now 3-1 in front. Much needed. Courtney Hine from, I think she was 3 0 up, finds her 3 2 now with Jacqueline Maiden. Whilst we're looking at, or whilst this is going. Vanessa Zadima is a 4 0 win over Lisa Hughes. And Almudena Fado Uso has beaten Dita Edmund 4 1. Averages dropped off a lot in that final leg. So the race for the women's match play got top two done and dusted. Let's, let's, let's forget them. That, that's that's beyond doubt. Are they dark green? I don't care if they're dark green or not. They're done. <laughs> <laughs> um, looking at the ones just outside that are in some kind of form. That I look at. That no, she's got a horror draw today. But I look at Anastasia that played well that last block. Mm -hmm. um, and Noelin Van Leuyden is the interesting one for me. Yeah, because we, we've seen her making finals on the WDF circuit, and she's only just outside. Yeah, been incredibly consistent since started playing the women's series. Um, been in and around big performances. It's just that consistency now, and that looks to have been added to Noah's game.
Are we, are we surprised that Kirsty Hutchinson and Laura Turner are so far off? Obviously, Laura made the match play last year. Yeah, Laura had a phase last year where she was making quarters and semis for what felt like most of the events as well. Kirsty, I think we're yet to see the best of Kirsty Hutchinson on the Women's Series full stop. I know, I agree. I don't think we've seen the level that Kirsty produced at the Lakeside at all. No, I, I, I agree because a, a score at Lakeside was unreal. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few more results jumping in. Sabrina Young and Notter, a 4 2 win over Marlene Badger. It's a 4 2 win for Astrid Trowburst over Megan Humphreys. 4-2 in for Stephanie Potter over Quinty Beeman. Tori Kewish is out. 4-1 loss to Kirsty Chubb. Uh, Kiersey Vina Kynan, a uh, 4-1 winner over Donna Gleed. Vina Kynan, she was very good last time out as well, wasn't she? Yep. Yeah. Uh, wins also for Felicia Blay, 4-3 over Aaron Van Vigeren. Uh Katie Sheldon, a 4-1 winner over Jan Robbins. Courtney Hine peg back to three each now. Shannon Reeves goes two on up on Terry Francis Kidwell. I loved Vincent's interview on the Euro Tour last night as well. Absolutely killed Philip. <laughs> Yeah, well done, Vinny. <laughs> uh, Reese van der Vilde is a 4-2 winner over Shea Cole. And the golden girl, Trina Gulliver, is out. Not good for her. Uh, what well, that does mean is we need a new featured game. Uh, Bo Greaves and Jenny Jones has just started. We've also got Sarah Milkowski against Gemma Bowen. Aileen de Graff's about to play Avon Taylor. It's going to be Bow, in it? Yeah. Uh, morning, Richard. Hope you are hey, good. Uh, uh, Dita's highest record average in 98 back in 2013, British Internationals. I oh, know she's been a, she's been an unbelievable servant, but I just think that I don't think that game's there anymore, or certainly not consistently. Uh, Wendy Reinstangler, two and up on the stream, I'm 91. Uh, morning, Warren. I hope you are good. Uh, God, Courtney Hind is out. I'm sure she was 3 0 up. Uh, Gemma Bowen won it up on Sarah Milkowski. Also, just getting underway. Anka Zilkstra. Uh, 
I quite like that. I, I stick it out. I like the fact they're blitzing through these one to eight games, so the, the sixty four will all start at the same time. Just on each board, yeah. Yeah. Looks like we're back to one game per board now. I'm just having a look in the knockout board group view. Uh, Rachel Brooks takes a two-one lead over Leanne Topper. Uh, Bo cruising at 2 0. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, they've learned the lessons from last time out where it was. They're also being proactive here. So on board 15, it's still 2 1 between Shannon Reeves and Terry Francis Kidwell. That board only has three one to eight games. Um, but they've just started another because that game is quite slow. Yeah. I rate this. Yeah, 100%. Um, I don't think Aileen is in as good as form as what she was last year, God. Would you agree? Uh, at the moment, yeah, without seeing more of her. Manly playing as well. Um, other than Bo, who would you guys say is the second favourite? Alan. Yeah. Or Makuru. Makuru. It's difficult to judge Makuru because, again, we only see her at these events. And if yeah. you're going just off women's series, then yes, Makuru. But Fallon's played Challenge Tour since and banged in a 9 data and produced some solid results on there. Exceptional performance from Wendy Reinstattler on the streaming board. 4-0 victory over Silk Low, averaging 77. Uh, Wendy Reinstattler has raced through that one, 4-0. The average dropped to 77, but it was... Around the 91 mark for most of that. Very, very good from Wendy. Just said that one. I wasn't listening, so I was just... <laughs> you, know, you know when the Super Series chat's going off at the same time? Yeah. Sarah Mortimer takes the opener against Priscilla Steenbergen. Anka Zilstra now tuning up on Marina Sidley. Jenny Jones wants double six 
to get a leg back against Bo Greaves, and it goes. Gemma Bowen, 3 0 up on Sarah Milkowski. Ross Bormer doubles her lead. She leads to zip. Aileen tune it up as well. Oh, I like that game. Eleanor Cairns on the stream next. Mm -hmm. Target Elite One. Looking forward to well, no, sorry, she's graduated from that, and she now I lose track of how they grade them. No, she's still in there. Katie Sheldon's graduated. Is it? I thought. Uh, but yeah, it's good to see her on the stream. As Bo seals a 4-1 victory in her opening game of the weekend. A couple of 4-3 victories elsewhere. Emma Smith over Nanaku Shimuzu and Brenda Dyer over Cherie Yeomans. Joe Clements and Josie Patterson warming up. Shannon Reeves, 3-2 up now. Aileen DeGraff, one away. Three that up against Yvonne Taylor. I wish that was the Yvonne Taylor. Could you imagine? Yes. <laughs> so, 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 some of the younger generation won't understand the name, will they? I mean, you had to explain it to me last time, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tara Bowen, 4 0 win over Sarah Milkowski. That one's all done. And in the ledger, Sarah Mortimer had 2 0 up on Priscilla Steenbergen. Well, on that same sort of thing, Gob, just once. It, it won't happen, but we can hope and dream. How funny would it be if Mrs. Anderson turned up at a women's series and decided to get the darts out again? <laughs> yeah. Please. Well, back, back in the day, Rachel was a very good player. Just bring out all the all the wags. <laughs> she um she played county for Somerset. I bet those practice games are a bit fiery. Yeah. <laughs> Loser does the wash. Loser does the washing up. <laughs> 
first time I can remember, we've, we've seen Eleanor Cans on the stream. Um, that side angle on the action, no, oh, I'm, I'm not sold on that action at all. You're very much ahead of me, and I'm not sure how. Are you actually watching it through PDC TV, or are you watching it on your dodgy stick? Uh, PG, PDC TV? How dare you? <laughs> Jarliff doesn't pay for this subscription for nothing, you know. <laughs> well, when you catch up, I like the I like the follow through. I just don't like the position of the hand the and start, twist. Yeah, the twist. I, 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 the, the follow through is very good. And it, again, it's one of those ones that when you get it right, it's fine. But yeah. it's making sure your your wrist comes round enough and the same all the time. Yeah. Uh, more in a different class. Hope you are good. Yeah. Look, obviously, Eleanor plays County for. Lancashire, and so she can play. I just, it's replicating that action is my worry. Yes. They sit in the board, lovely. Oh, th th there's a lot to like. It's just that, that little, angle. That angle is perfect to work with. It's just that little quirk. Uh, Gob, do you want to move your mouse on the? Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, look, there, there, there's a lot to work with, with her. That, that's, that's very good. It's just those little quirks and <laughs> Rose Bulmer has just beaten Vicky Pilgrim at four 0 That game was put on when Shannon Reeves' game was two apiece. That's currently three apiece. <laughs> But I like it. I like that they're being proactive in this. Uh, Chrissy Manley, 4 0 winner over Anne Doristeen. Rebecca Edwards and Natalie Gilbert warming up. That should be an interesting level battle. Yeah, I like that. Um, it would be a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Robin Byrne. Again, this this game went under the radar a little bit. God, Robin Byrne against Rianne Griffiths. Yeah, that that, that, went, un, that yes. went under the radar. The other bit that not makes me laugh, but on the when they. When they show the side cam on the feature on the stream game gob, the sponsors on the wall. Mm hmm Why have they still got the loop one there? Because Matchroom Live well, or Matchroom bought loop and made Matchroom Live from it. Yeah. You think no one's ever noticed? You think that's what it is? Probably. Well just oh, just that that's what it is, the type thing from They'll stay stuck on there. That'll always be that piece. Until someone does notice it. Uh, 
Uh, Chris Savory. The thing is, it's noticeable if you take it off that there was something there. Yeah. So until there's something to replace it with. Yeah. Uh, Eleanor Cairns is 2 0 to the good, averaging 75. Very solid from the young lady. Mm -hmm. uh, Chloe O'Brien getting underway as well. Shannon Reeves has beaten Terry Francis Kidwell 4 3. Claire Brook in a 4 2 winner over Emma Wapshot. That might be my favourite name in the women's series. Wap shop. <laughs> I t just saying wap shop has just made me thought of one of the best bits of content I saw last year was the way model Emma Jones sketch when she was saying buckshot, but it sounded like bookshop in her northern accent and Wayne was just ripping it. It was just... An unplanned bit of content that ended up being so funny to watch. And then Wayne just going, you're so northern. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the country's northern to Wayne Mardle, to be fair. <laughs> uh, Rachel Brooks, 4-3 winner over Leanne Topper on board five. That one's in the ledger. Yeah. Uh, Robin Byrne, 2-0 up. On Rianne Griffin. Uh, Sarah Roberts leveled up. One all. Natalie Gilbert takes the opener against Rebecca Edwards. And the miracle, Makuru Suzuki, is underway against Rianne O'Sullivan. What a tie that is. Uh, big, big open round tie. Oh, monstrous. Absolutely huge. Um, Daz Fallon won her first game on the stream, so she may be a little while until her second. Uh, she'll play Kim Holden next after this game. I don't know against Adriana, if memory serves me rightly. God, because of the size of the game, do we change the feature game? I can do. I, I, I just think because of the size of it, it's an Sorry, absolute Jamie. heavyweight clash in round one. Uh, Chloe O'Brien takes the opener. She is 1-0 up. Uh, Jane Robson has been Anne-Marie Potts 4-1. Why is it not started yet? What's going on? Mm. Don't know. There we go. Oh no, you were refreshing it. Ah, yep, there we go. And Rianne has won the ball gob. That could be Massive. huge. Massive. 
You know how Taylor used to win the ball and give the throw away? Genius. What do we think the shortest format race he would do that in? Best of 11. Because I think best of seven here would be too short. You just can't best, rule best, it out. Best of 11. Anything I think else tonight? Mace tells an unbelievable story where Phil played the best mind game on him ever and he said it literally screwed him. He said, literally, they they got called to go and do their bull up and they said, no word of a lie, we were going for, must have been 20 visits, whether it was ball, 25, out, both outside, ball, 25, da, da, da. And he said, I pulled one. And then Mace, and then Taylor went up, plonked one of the ball, went up, took his dart out of the ball and went, you can have the darts. <laughs> I've been trying for so long. <laughs> and May said it literally completely threw him. Um, Robin Byrne, 4-0 winner. Bagel served on Rianne Griffiths. That one, it's board three, is done. I do think that gets missed an awful lot, by the way. That somebody wins the bull off and it's just presumed that because you won it, you're throwing first. Yeah. Even I fall into the habit of doing it. If I mark a seniors event, there's one the bullseye and I click on Dark Neck to say that they're throwing first. Yeah. And actually, it's, you've won the right to decide. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Don't look at me. I, the, the honest answer is I don't know. I'll try and find out. I'm just pinging a message to MK. Uh, it's a bit like the coin toss in football, isn't it? That doesn't decide who kicks off. The coin toss is so that you get to choose which end of the pitch you want to play the first half in. Correct. Um, Priscilla Steenberg has turned her game around and she is victorious. She was in a little bit of bother. But let's turn that one around. Uh, <laughs> uh, Daz, no, Laura Turner won her first round game, mate. Oh, I'll tell you what. Two great games. Oh, before I touch that, you notice we've got a second American flag, which is obviously amazing. But warming up, Lisa Ashton against Anastasia Dobromislova and Aoife McCormack against Steph Clark. Big games. Speaking and of Noel and Van Leuven's just taken the first leg against Lorraine Hyde. Look, huge moments here. Ryan O'Sullivan will get darts to break Makuru Suzuki. Doesn't take it. More importantly, we've seen the score before. Yeah. Let's try to throw it 25, and it's too good. It's too good. Plunk to the ball. Um, Elena Cairns has won on the stream a 4 1 winner. Uh, Matthews, we, we all thought she wasn't, but she's here. No, I'm um, so. Warren, um, without trying to get into politics. You know me. Um, Anastasia is banned from playing in WDF events because of the stance on Russian and Belarus athletes. Um, she was never given the opportunity to play under a neutral flag. But 
under the the PDC rules, um, they're allowed to plan the neutral flags. We saw Boris Koltsov plan their neutral flag, um, and that, that's that's how it should be. Think, I like explain that right, Gob, without getting into dramas. Yes. But this is huge, God. Rihanna Sullivan is playing like an absolute dream here and has 3-0 against Makuru Suzuki. Oh, my. Oh, my. 12 dark leg. 1-2-1. One, one. Johnny Clayton point left. It's a Welsh thing. But Rihanna Sullivan is 3-0 up. And Makuru Suzuki is in a spot of bother. That was stunning from Rian O'Sullivan. Oh, so we've got round two games on the stream next. It will be Kim Holden against Kirsty Vinakainen. Have I butchered that gob enough? Kirsty Vinakainen. I was not do too bad. I think it's Vinakainen. And Fallon Sherrick against and Chilton warming up as well. This would set the cat amongst the pigeons. One six one now. Yeah. And look the fact that Makuru is in the well, was maybe she still might be, but is in the same half of the draw as oh, as Fallon Sherikov. This could be huge. Ridiculous scoring power from Rihanna Sullivan. This goes in two or less. Could well be over the hundred average. It is a hundred average. Stunning. Absolutely stunning from Rian O'Sullivan. 4 0. Bagel served on Makuru Suzuki. Averages a ton. Someone's in the mood. Mm -hmm. Where's Pete in the chat room when we need him? Yeah. I wonder. Obviously, Rianne just signed for Mission. I wonder if she's using new equipment or old equipment. Do we want Lisa versus Anna or is it Fallon versus Anne Chilton? Lisa versus Anna. No, Lynn Van Leuven is 3-0 up on Lorraine Hyde. You know, like we said earlier, that we haven't seen the best of, or nowhere near the best of, Kirsty Hutchinson on the women's series. The same can be said for Lorraine Hyde. Yeah. Not since the first season, when she was yeah. a little bit of an unknown to quite a few people. Oh, oh hello, Rian. <laughs> that was okay. <laughs> yeah. Were, 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 were your ears burning? Um, using the mission dart or the old one? <laughs> she's, she's not going to tell us if it's the old one. It'll get her in trouble. <laughs> no, it, 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 it's Pete. <laughs> 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 Morning, D to B. How we doing? Yeah. Fourteen dark leg to open for Fallon Sherrick. 
all of a sudden, things are just heating up. Toasted. <laughs> That's made me chuckle, Pete. That. <laughs> oh, that, 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 there we go. It was. It's the old set that are doing the magic. Uh, Lisa Ashton tuning it up on Anastasia right now. Maria O'Brien, OB, has gone. Ooh, to performance nine points lower than her in the averages. Darts is a strange game. Massively. Hyde gets one back. Anastasia needs a huge visit here. A couple more results coming in from Simon Willis, a 4 one over Kat McLean. Angela Kirkwood has beaten Emily Hayes 4 0. Ethan McCormack now one away against Steph Clark, 3 1. The Irish River leads. Speaking of one away, the same principle applies to the Lancashire Rose. Lisa Ashton now three up on Anastasia de Bromislova. These are the, the one to eight games that are showing, they're the last of them as well, Gob, aren't they? Yep, should be. They've already doubled up where it needs to be. Yep. So Zoe Jones and Corinne Hammond warming up like that. Lorraine Hyde. He's the little comeback on here. It's 3 2 now. Back to back legs. Jones Hammond was definitely showing as a 64 game then, but it is a 1 2 8 match. Someone's clipped the wrong category. Do we think uh, so carrying on where she left off? She beat Dita Hedman in round one. She tuned up on Sharon Schwartzman Pool, averaging eighty-five. Do you think that Noeling maybe just took her foot off the gas at, at three 0 Certainly looks it. Uh morning, Paddy. Hope you are good. Ethan McCormack beats Steph Clark 4-1. Zoe Jones taking the opener against Corinne Hammond. I know, I'm not sure what miles are in 
Corinne's tank at the moment. She hasn't played an awful lot recently, Gob. Anastasia has won back against Lisa. Yeah, no, she is. She is a fighter, Warren. Two good performances from Fallon so far this morning. Flying at the minute. Oof. There's one for you, Gob. It'll be the Sherrick Siren. Ashton Alarm's not bad. There are two Ashtons, though. Yeah. Trisha Wright defeats Sarah Roberts 4-3. As the Bromans Lover gets another leg back against Lisa Ashton. Not done yet. Sharon Godbear turning up on Jackie Wilkinson. Amy Grant leads Elizabeth Tynan 3-1. Hammond gets a leg back against Zoe Jones. Uh, Van Leuven Hyde has gone all the way to a deciding leg. Three apiece in that one. That's three straight for Lorraine Hyde. Alex Howard leads Wendy Adams 3 2. That rounds out your 1 2 8 game. Fallon Sherrick 3 0 averaging 92 in the last 64. Uh, Amadina Fayado Ayuso 2 1 up on Sharon so that's not full. Uh, Sophie Hadley 1 0 up on Emma Smith. Stephanie Potter 1 0 up on Brenda Dyer. Laura Turner and Tammy McKenzie just getting underway. As Sherrick does complete the 4 0 win over Anne Chilton, they average down at 86 now. Uh, and Noelin Van Leuven from 3 0 up gets over the line 4 3 against Lorraine Hyde. Fallon Foghorn. Fun fact, Foghorn is my brother's nickname now. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. I tell you what, this is a key key moment in this contest, in our feature game. This is huge moments. Because if this goes, Anastasia is no favourite. She tees up tops. Will Lisa get anything other than a dart at the ball? She's missed a dart at the ball. Is your streaming board still not active, by the way? No. Oh God, we're going all the way. And from 3-0 down, Anastasia De Bromislova. Has turned it around. She has. Chloe O'Brien is out. She loses 4 3 to Deborah Watling.
Oh, we've got pictures on the stream at last. Um, no, we're not using ABS, Warren. Uh, Corinne Hammond is in front. However, all eyes on our feature game as Lisa Ashton has wrestled the advantage back. The Lancashire Rose was 3 0 up, pegged back to three apiece. However, will Anastasia de Bromislova get a match start from 120? I think the answer is yes. And a match start has come and gone. Now 64 for Ashton. Oh, how big is that gob? How big is that? That will hurt all the hard work done by Anastasia to fight back into the match. But it is Lisa Ashton who claims victory. Same for Alex Howard. That one will sting. We need a new game to watch now. Um, you can go from one Ashton to the other. I was about to say, I, I think Lin, I think Lindsay deserves... Because she played well last time out. Yes. Yeah, she's playing well. Turn 40, turn, turn 97. Oh, that was... If anything, she's probably playing better than mum right now. Mm. Uh, Andrew, who wins the Euro Tour this weekend? Joshua. I think Josh Rock's been threatening for the last few weeks. Um, who do I... Let me have a look at the draw. I'm not slow. Oh, you're in it there, slow. Hey. <laughs> right. <laughs> who asked you? Uh, we're in Prague this weekend, aren't we? Yes. Right. I'm going Luke Humphreys. Some of the um, some of the Czech youngsters impressed me yesterday. Um, yes. I watched a bit of it, but I can't remember any of their names. Uh. Philip Sebesta, I didn't. I wasn't that keen on his action. It was a bit weird. Uh, the one that lost to Gert and is David Peace Pesk. I liked him.
David Pisak. And the other one I watched was Yanni Lorilla against Ross Smith. Who looked like he was going to murder someone at any moment. <laughs> Corey Hammond leads Zoe Jones 3 2. I know she's behind at the moment, God, but Kim Holden, the, the average is around the 81 mark again. On, on the stream. I, I, I don't like the Vortex flights, but other than that... Come on. Neither of them are throwing normal flights, are they? Nah. Holden's got kites. And then Vinnie Carden's got the vortexy things that. Jones and Hammond level at three apiece. We're going all the way. And the Ashton continues to perform tuning up on Michelle Andrews. Bo Greaves is back in action. She takes the first leg against Joe Clements. That's where Casey Gallagher is about to play Russo van der Velde. Astrid Trowals against Sylvia Schlappbach. Kirsty Hutchinson against Amy Evans. Good to see Casey Gallagher back playing as well. Mm hmm. Completely agree. So at the moment, the women's order, just the standard order of merit, is as follows: uh, Bo one, Makuru two, Rianne O'Sullivan three, Kim Holden four, Robin Byrne five, Fallon Cherick six, Lorraine Wynn Stanley seven, uh, Noel and Van Lloyden eight, and mirror mirroring the eight, although different on the match play. Order of merit is Bo, Makuru, Lisa, Rianne, Lorraine, Fallon, Aileen, and Kim Holden. Because the race for the match play started last year. Hotting up quite nicely. Yeah. Uh, 
I like how interchangeable it is at the moment as well. Yeah. And that it isn't just eight standout players. You look at the field with Vitrina Gulliver and Adita Hedman and Anastasia De Bromis Lover and players that have world titles or have made world finals, and they aren't consistently just dominating the top eight and producing a massive gap to everybody else. Yeah. And I think that's quite a key part in justifying A, seed in the women's series, B, putting on more events for the women's game and the growth in total. Two results to Brynja. Corin Hammond does beat Zoe Jones 4-3 and Eleanor Cairns a 4-0 winner over Wendy Reinstattler. Wendy Reinstattler averaged over 70 in that first game. Yeah. yeah. The other thing as well, you could, I know we've spoken about it and Murph touched on it as well in the sit-down we did with him. There, there is a genuine case and a very strong one to make the match play 16 mm-hmm. over two sessions. You look at, at, at the ones that are just outside. So nine to sixteen, you've got Robin Byrne, Katie Sheldon, Noeline Van Leuden, Priscilla Steenberg, and Deza Hedman, Anastasia, Anka Zilsa, Trina Gulliver, and then Kirsty Hutchinson in seventeen. Yeah. And then just below that, your your Laura Turner's, your Rianne Griffiths, your Yuki Sakaguchi's, your Kareen Hammonds. The, the the strength is there to go to sixteen. Yeah, I don't think add another eight. Devalues that match play at all? No, I'm I'm with you. Uh, evening, Simon. Hope you are good. Uh, Katie Sheldon's been pegged back. Uh, Lindsay Ashton sells a 4 0 win, though, Gob. Good stuff. Yeah, looking very good, is Lindsay. This is an interesting one, and we've spoken about this. That I, I think that should happen as well, different class. But the issue is, you'd have to take it away from Minehead because there's no room to do quarterfinals at Minehead, is there, Gob? I'd play a championship weekend. No room at the inn. So I, I, I agree with you. I think the quarterfinals should be televised but it's then when you fit that tournament into the schedule yeah because by televising the last eight you're actually adding six games not just yeah and the difference between one televised game and seven is quite substantial yeah so I completely agree it should be, but it's how and what tournament you you put it in. Uh, Amy Evans has one back against Kirsty Hutchinson. Uh, Bo 3 0 up on Joe Clements. Look, it's not vintage, Bo. Is this the, 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 the dub game gob that no one's taken advantage of? Quite potentially. We used to say that about Van Gogh an awful lot, didn't we? When he was dominant, if you didn't get him early, you wouldn't get him at all. Yeah.
Becca Hoyland tour with Kirsty Chavez. Casey Gallagher takes a 2 1 lead, averaging 78. Steady enough from Casey. Can't complain too much to that. No. Not at all. It's not a bad chat. Should we put Fallon against Elena Cairns on? Oh, go on then. Oh, go on then. All right, Eddie. <laughs> oh, go on then. I love that. I love that gift. Yeah. Like, to be fair, there's so many. I, I like that one. And the, I like the one where he sat by the fish and like, he was like, yeah, no one, no one's up for a fight. It's early days yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> you know, day. Boring, irrelevant. Oh. Boring. No, 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 no. So my darts team, my captain works in... Um, Something to do with numbers and stats, right? So basically, he's been keeping a record of everything we've done this season. So he, if he needs it, he can justify why people are playing more singles or pairs or whatever for our, just for our Wednesday night league, right? But we've got a proper like in-depth bit. He can tell you who's won the most decided legs, who's played the most decided legs, and all sorts, right? So he looked at mine the other day. I think I've played three, one, three decided legs. I think I'm eleven matches. I've won nine singles out of eleven. Or is it 10? No, 10 singles out of 12, and I've won eight pairs out of 12. Two of those were with jobbers as well. Um, but I haven't lost a decided leg, so I used the, that lad has got a set of bollocks on him. <laughs> <one> <laughs> the other day. I love it. That lad. I got the other one. Oh, how did you flute that one? <laughs> the, um, the, 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 the run they put together of... The lad's holiday in Eddie Hearn clips was genius. Mm -hmm. uh, Fallon takes a scrappy opener. But potentially... On the stream board, there's a big result happening for everyone else because Kim Holden is one away from defeat. Not just one away from defeat. She's a dart away from defeat. Oh, when it just drops low at tops. Again, well, you, so you, you're now in front of me. <laughs> Magic. If you refresh yours by any chance. Yeah, at some point I got fed up with it. <laughs> No nines today. Gob is here. Yeah, because I'm a 10, mate. <laughs> More darts are missed for Kim Holden. And this case, he's been a kind of the Raptor before one win. So does Lorraine Wynn Stanley. So does Kirsty Hutchinson. This time Fallon tidies up the 74 to break and lead to zip.
right, what else have we got? Corinne Howen straight back into action. They're not hanging around today, are they? It's like off. No, I, like it. I might be out of here by six. And then it's like, go on, get back on there. Not a bad setup from Fallon. I've, I've seen worse. <laughs> 14 dart leg. The beloved double 18. And he's now just one away. Angela Kirk with two and up on Ross. Bournemouth, Felicia Blaze, Sabrina Young and Knocker. One apiece. Potential. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, quarter final between Fallon and Felicia. Still on the cards. Sibling rivalry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have I had a throw of Bo's darts? No. I don't throw of a lot of darts. I have my darts. I should throw in more darts, but no. Uh, Stephanie Potter for two winner. Uh, Chris is cheering on Rebecca Hoyland. Me too. Oh, yeah, because you cross county lines, haven't you? You feel like I've done the day. Pay me more money. <laughs> so, but go, going by that scenario, then, if you were if you played football for Liverpool and Manchester United offered you more money, you'd go and play for them? Oh, no. No chance. So, what, so what's the difference between being a knots boy and crossing the border to do that? Well, one, I'm not actually from knots, am I? I'm from I was born in South London and grew up in Oxford, <laughs> so that makes no difference there. And two, the knots job is very, very secure in Andy Walsh's capable hands. Uh, Eleanor Cairns holds, has a leg back on the board. I'm not from Nottingham. I live in Nottingham. I've been here for 10 years now. Not me, what? What will I know? <laughs> Fallon will have darts to win it up next. Uh, Jane Robson is taking the opener against Ethan McCormack in the last 64. And Fallon polishes that one off 4-1. Um, one. multiplied by 10. Plus 1. Uh, Angela Kirkwood, 3-0 up on Ros Bulmer. I'm 
My cousin's husband is John Lowe's nephew. <laughs> That's one of them where you just need to take a step. Like, how do we get there? <laughs> Yeah. Never yeah. back the early kickoff. Yep. Yeah. Rule one: leave it well alone. You're asking for trouble, my man. Also, I hope they both lose. That's not possible. Yeah, but it should be. <laughs> um. uh, so, Rian is on the streaming board. And so, we don't show the scores for that one live because it's slightly out of time. But we'll keep you fully in the loop. However, they are still bullying off. <laughs> Could be some time. I know Rihanna Sullivan has won the bullseye, so she'll be up first. If you've got PDC TV, you can watch Rihanna there. Uh, just booked tickets for the Grand Prix. Can't wait. It's going to be in Leicester for the foreseeable. It certainly looks like it. And if not the Grand Prix, then at least something. We've had the Champions League there before, haven't we? It's certainly a matchroom venue. Yeah. They're starting to use that for Pro Tours now as well. That will be next weekend. We'll be back for Pro Tour Live next weekend. It was like the first Pro Tour in forever. Yeah. Too long. Yeah. Streaming board. Yeah, so you uh, for the Pro Tour, the Women's Series, and the Euro Tour, uh, you can pay for PDC TV if you go to pdc.tv. Um, it's a monthly subscription. You can either pay for like a weekend pass um, or yearly. It will give you... Um, Priority access to tickets for PDC events, and you can watch one or two live streaming boards uh, for the Pro Tour. Uh, there's one board for the Women's Series, uh, the Euro Tour. Uh, you also get things like um, the CDC events from North America. Uh, you get some of the Australian events on there. Uh, the Chinese Premier League um, will be on there as well. For, for 50 quid a year, I think it's very good value. Yes. But very good. For, for 50 quid a year and what you get, I think it's outstanding. Mm-hmm. God pays for it every year. I mean, I, I ripped my mate's account. The other option is, which a lot of people seem to have, is if you have something like a fire stick with, with you know, <laughs> that sort of subscription on in your household, uh, there's a good chance under UK Sports, as you're heading, not Sky Sports, not BT Sports, there'll be a third section for UK Sports, but you'll be able to find a PDC TV within that. The way the, the way you describe that is as if it's to say you knew exactly where it was. <laughs> <laughs> say where Vine Play is as well, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Speaking of, the Euro Tour will be underway very shortly. Uh, yeah, that, the atmosphere was decent in Sheffield, Chris. I agree. It was um, it works well. Uh, Lisa Ashton back in action. She takes the opener. Rachel Brooks has taken the opener against Noel in Van Leuden.
Riyad O'Sullivan is 1-0. Looking to go 2 up on the stream. Alicia Blay defeats Sabrina Youngenotter 4 1. And Kazilstra just getting underway, as is Priscilla Steenbergen. Karen Hammond 3 0 up on Julianne Birchall. I'm not mistaken. Is that not the same board as Felicia? It is. So that would be a board final Felicia versus Corin. Aileen turning up on Natalie Gilbert. Lisa Ashton turning up on Denise Cassidy. I'll be back in a minute. And Gob's going to loop. Not actually. I'm going to get a cable to charge my iPad so I can keep an eye on the Notts County game later. Is that the final? Yes. Who have they got? Chesterfield. Oh. <laughs> 45 minutes down the road of dragging everybody to Wembley for it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I don't mean this horribly, but surely Wembley's not sold out either. It would have made more sense to put it in a more local stadium where it's Slightly less capacity, but full and rocking. Problem is, it's a week notice, isn't it? They didn't know that. The other two teams were Boreham Wood and Bromley, I think. Who are both London. And it's better than West Ham Stadium for the last couple of years. So, And I'm also stealing my brother's chair. Because mine's broken. It's hurting my ass. <laughs> well, Gob has his little midlife crisis there. Um, we'll keep you fully up to speed. Uh, Eileen, 2 0 up. Probably about to go three. Uh, Priscilla Steenberger taking the opener against Sharon Godbeer. Rachel Brooks, 2 0 up on Noelin Van Leuyden now. That would be, be a bit of a shock. Uh, Lindsay Ashton is 2 0 up. Uh, Deborah Watlin 2 0 up on Chrissy Manley. Denise Cassidy has one back against Lisa Ashton. Thank you. 
what else have we got? Uh, Fonz Ryan Willis, 2-0 to the good. Gobs back with his new chair and charging lead as on the stream. I sat on his and I don't trust it. <laughs> uh, Rian O'Sullivan serves the bagel 4 0, and she is absolutely flying. She will now play Casey Vinakainen in the last 32. For the right to play Balan Sherrick in the last 16. Aha, we have a graphic at last. Any chance Thomas Banks will be on the Super Series? I mean, the rules have changed recently following... Luke's exploits. Um, the, likelihood, the, the likelihood is he's probably going to have to win or qualify through the ADC. Which is possible now. It, it wasn't until yeah. recently. Wasn't it? So. Uh, and Kazilstra 2-0 to the good, as is Priscilla Steenbergen. There's um I think this is a surprise. Brewing on board five, or more than brewing, it's almost done. Rachel Brooks got three nil up on Nolan Van Noyden, averaging 86 as well. Given recent form, yeah, I'd say that is a surprise. We got Bo on the stream next. That's a surprise. Oh, it's a great game as well. Yeah. Um, no, over here they get they get the cash. Show me the money, 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 money. Yeah, Luke's been in better for a week and a half. <laughs> Not in half. <laughs> Every other tweet he's done is. Oh, there's nothing to do with today, Ben at home, so I'm going to watch a Super Series. <laughs> tell me you didn't really want to go on holiday without telling me. <laughs> <laughs> this man knows. Uh, Angela Kurt, which is finding a 13 dart leg to open against Natalie Davy. Tidy enough. Lindsay Ashton 
three one up and one away. Corinne Hammond in a noble. Noble. Has he just gone French, Mr. Noble? <laughs> He needs to buy himself a new football shirt. <laughs> so let's check in on this noble. And it is advantage Corinne Hammond. Champagne shot doesn't go, but she has all the time in the world. Thirty-eight points away from a victory is Aileen de Glass, and it does go in two. She defeats Natalie Gilbert for two. And Kazilstra wraps up a 4 0 win over Alex Howard. Corinne Hammond has missed match shortly. And again, questioning her board management when your opponent's not on a finish. To leave double seven is not the smartest idea. No. But it goes in one. Ooh, what, a, what a game on board six. Katie Sheldon against Ethan McCormack. We're, we're going to have to do it, folks. We're going to have to I'm, do it. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Um, whilst you put that up, I'm just going to the loo. Cheerio, my friend. If ever loads. Uh, Priscilla Steenberg and beat Sean God. Rachel Brooks is a 4-1 victor over Noah Lynn Van Leuven. Stop talking about him. He's back. Hello, Phil. Shh, shh. Uh, Lindsay Hi. Ashton completes a 4 2 win over Patricia Wright. I don't wear glasses when I play darts. These are for screen time. Of which I do an awful lot of. <clears throat> Beer glasses, maybe. Not that I've drank to play darts in a while. And it's showing because I'm crap.
Ага. Oh. Could you get a couple of Savaloy sent down this way, Johnny? It'd be appreciated. Oh, not Savaloy. You're so southern. Soskin batter and a fish cake, please. <laughs> You're so southern. <laughs> Um, I throw with 22 gram Adrian Lewis Gen 2s. Not very well, but he throws them. The target fire points. Uh, the windmill flights, uh, windmill stem, windmill prism flights. And flight detectors. Uh, the girlfriend hunting. Haha, you clearly don't have me on social media. It is not a hunt. I it am must in be a love. relationship. Love, love. Da, na, na. Oh, you uh, <laughs> uh, on my um. My darts, you know, after all that chopping and changing, guess what I threw within the week? The Colin Lights. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> wait, wait. So, <clears throat> go, 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 we'll tell you. So, I threw with, I, I, I throw, throw him with Colin Lloyd Unicorn Darts for the best part of 17 years. And I don't know if you can see it. They are very old, worn, and not a lot of grip on there, is there, Cobb? Yeah, don't tell us about yourself, though, mate. What about your dogs? Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I've thrown recently with the Valhalla's. The Danny Knoppets. Danny Knoppets. No, they were the they weren't the Knoppets. No. The D Danny Knoppets. Danny yeah. Lalby's. And then yeah, two, I like weeks, them. two weeks ago, I even had a go with them. What are they? The MVG trilogies. Oh god. But then this week, I went well, back I mean, to... Well, to be giveaway. No, no, I've got a set for myself as well. Mm, the giveaway yeah. ones are still there, which I need, I need him to sign first. But he hasn't won a Premier League night. <laughs> it's Chrissy Manley so, related to Peter Manley. She is. It is Peter's wife. So, yeah, my, my, my dark case is like Peter Wright's at the moment. I'll go get mine. They're on the stairs. Um, yeah, you know, I'll, um, I'll rattle any dark. Um, for, uh, Andrew, I used, I used to be at a decent level. Um... I got dart iris and it's never been the same since. So I, I, I used to be used to be alright. I played gob um, a, a few times, and he'll it, tell you with, with my action there, gob. Isn't it? It's like when I actually get it to leave my hand, right? They sit really nice, but there's just too many snatchy and pulley yeah. darts because of the the ips. Yes. Just my towel, clearly. <laughs> for vodka Wednesdays. I don't like the microfiber cloths that they try and sell you as a towel now. They're just cheap naff and they feel horrible. So this is actually a bomber. <laughs> That's how towels start. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm just watching the, um, the bull up here. Yeah. I'm loving the pinky out on the, not the bow throw. They're both having a mare on the ball here. 
They're both laughing about it. These are my dark. So they are AD Lewis Gen 2s. Uh, oh, they're Wimmel Prism stems as well as flights. And the target five points. Got a flight punch. Anybody that doesn't but throws normal flights is just asking for trouble. Not if you use the windmill vector stem, you're not. I don't like the stem. I feel like, yes, it holds the flight in solid, but anything of a metal stem, the minute you put They cost more, and the minute you put a point in there, Robin Hood, they're fucked. But I have the same, because I throw quite hard, that if I Robin Hood a plastic stem, it obliterates anyway. Yeah. I smash them up. So, right, I'm just looking on the stream now, God, because this is the first time I've seen our Spaniard. Yeah, I flow flight protectors. They don't do an awful lot in terms of actually protecting your flight. But for me, it's a mentality thing. So um, I'm terrible at playing somebody who's slow. Always have been, always will be. Just like to get on with it, get in a rhythm. So instead of watching what they're doing and getting frustrated by how slow they are, I will order my flight protectors in a certain order, all three of my different colours. It's not some anal thing that I have to throw them in a certain order. It's just something to focus on behind an opponent that isn't them throwing. I'm going to eat the rest of my Kit Kat now. But yes, I do have a girlfriend now. Thanks for asking, Dee to be. Uh, Bo, turn that up, averaging 115. The live round three. So I've really enjoyed this tussle between Katie and Ethan McCormack going all the way. For the right to storm. Oh. But Katie has gone round the houses. Ish. I think she's at treble 18 from 58. Instead of making sure of the single, she's a, she's gone aggressive. Well, that's a good point. Where's the TV remote control? I need to put the Euro Tour on. Gilding now 2 0 up. Ethan McCormack steals it from Kate Gilden. It's about 4 3 win for her. Bogreaves now 3 0 up, averaging 112. Very, very, very good. 
Hope your pins out. Kirsty Hutchinson, two and up on Elizabeth Tynan. Anka Zilstra, two and up on Astrid Traubord. Ayn de Graff, two and up on Stephanie Potter. Kirsty Minakainen leads Rihanna Sullivan, two one, averaging 90 herself. Uh, some last 32 games warming up. Lindsay Ashton against Vanessa Zodima. Uh, Lorraine Wynn Stanley against Rachel Brooks. You know how on stage you're only allowed water? Yeah. Is there a rule to food? food? I don't know is the honest answer. Why? What, what, what are you thinking? Chewing on tobacco and constantly has in his mouth. God, your internet, your internet's gone. All that you sound like a Dalek and you froze. Anyway, well, 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 Gob sorts himself out. I'm sure he'll come back to the point in a minute. Crap. Um, there we Kirsty go, the screen's finished loading now. So anyway, the, the point you were trying to make was... Gildin is constantly chewing tobacco. Right, okay. And I knew that drinks were limited and what you can have on stage. I wondered if there was anything that stopped that or chewing gum or other edibles being consumed while on stage. I guess not. Can we petition for it too? Um, I haven't got an issue with chewing gum. Uh, Bo Greaves seals a 4-1 victory, averaging 106 in the process. That was a little bit good. Yes. The girl can play. Lisa Ashton's not been at her best so far, but she is 2 0 up now on Casey Gallagher. But yeah, not at her best, but winning games. Raymond Stanley's taken the opener against Rachel Brooks. Are they not county teammates? Does the rain still play county? Not sure. Aileen the Graf completes a 4-1 win over Stephanie Potter. Let's see. 
We're missing one game. Where is it? Oh, no, I've got two, board three, board four. Um, Bo has been asked to play in the Super Series. There's board eight warming up. Kirsty against Deborah Watling. Uh, Anka Zilstra. 4 0 bagel. Do we think the long wait for Fallon will be all right? Because it seems like forever and a day she played. It does, even with the up other balls to try and prevent this sort of thing from happening. Um, yeah, she's got a long way, and she will play the winner of Kirstie Vina Kine and Mariano Sullivan. So it's not as if she's walking into a, a nice game just to get herself back into it. Yeah. Looking, scrolling through social, and I wondered why she wasn't here. But this is it: Joe Lock playing in um, a Suffolk Legends game today. Oh, I saw um, Harvey was playing in that as well. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 he just posted a picture of uh, with Joe Lock today. Yeah. Lisa Ashton match starts in coming. She wants 1 1 6 to wrap up a 4 0 win over Casey Gallagher. And it goes in three. That's a little bit better from Lisa Ashton. Finishes with an 80 average for the Lancashire Rose. She will play the winner of Laura Turner and Von Sauer Willis. Who's next on the stream? We don't have a game yet, right? Okay. I haven't announced it yet. They're going to help. Uh, Corinne Hammond tuning up on Felicia. Do we think if Corinne wins, they're going to go Corinne against Fallon? No, because it'd be Corin versus Robin Byrne. Fallon again. Oh. It's Ryan O'Sullivan or Kirsty. I see a Laura Turley, Lisa Ashton. I could see an Anka Zilstra versus Aileen de Graff. What is going underway now? Aileen Anka is also warming up. 
not listed as the streaming game. 7v8, Kirsty Hutchinson against Trouble Watling. 5v6, Lorraine wins Stanley against Aoife McCormack. That's my bet. Um, the, the honest answer is I don't know if Jacob Taylor's in the Las Vegas Open. I think that it was a Las Vegas Open this year. Um, do you think Grease will complete the clean sweep this weekend? I think she'll win three. Um, two or three, yeah. I, I think I don't think she'll do the clean. I think that one of the others, maybe Makuru. May win one of them. Uh, Andrew Makuru is here this weekend. Um, it was Dart's news that whether they translated her tweet wrong or something, I don't know. But it or things may have changed. But she, <clears throat> but she is here, which is great. Oh, sorry, meant US Darts Masters. Um, just having a look. Um, at the moment, Jacob Taylor is not in it. So you've obviously got the the, the PDC players, which are M Michael Smith, Gowen Pride, Peter Wright, Rob Cross, Luke Humphreys, Dimitri Vandenberg, Michael Van Gogh, and Nathan Aspinall. Then the three American PDC tour card holders, North American tour card holders, Jeff Smith, Matt Campbell, Jules Van Dongen, Alex Spellman as the Continental Cup winner. The cross-border challenge, Jeff Smith is already in there. So it's the runner-up, which was... Oh. Jim Long? That's it. Come on off the top of my head. I can picture him, Jim Long. Um, and then there are three qualifying places up for grabs. Nailed it. One of those horrible moments. You know when you can picture someone, but for the life of me, you can't remember the name? Yes. I was just guessing it long. I completely forgot. <laughs> but I'll take it.
And Andrew Gilding has just won on the Euro Tour. Turn that off for now. In the hope it gives my internet a bit of a boost. Are you not wired in? I am wired in. But the problem is I'm running three Dark Connect screens, two PDC TVs, and the stream via this. You should still be able to handle that. I've got phone, iPad, laptop, two screens. All on different devices. Mine's all on one device. I think that's the issue. Right, okay. I'm going to whack it on my iPad for now. Oh, which means I can actually use the PDC app, doesn't it? Not that I was going to access it a different way. <laughs> uh, Fontaine and Willis beats Laura Turner to set up a match with Lisa Ashton. Again, Laura Turner not hitting anywhere near the numbers we expect from her. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I mean that in a nice way because of the way that we see her playing. Uh, is it on VAR Play Extra? Uh, yes. Yeah. Lovely. To be fair, the Euro Tour actually looks superb. Now the, the the way it's done is unreal. Uh, Bo Grease back underway, not hanging around. Karen Hammond beats Felicia Blay 4-1. Just three last 32 games remaining. So, Fallon Sherrick against uh, Kirsty Vinikine and warming up. Are you ready? Lorraine Winstanley just beat Rachel Brooks 4-0. In the last 16, she will play Eva McCormack. That will be the streaming game. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. I've gone for it. I'm gone. I'm gone. I've legged it. Romeo, done. No. Completely different clip, Philip. Get with the times. More games warming up as the matches 32 finishes, which means the 16 games can be determined. No, the stream game. Have you seen it, Gob? No. It is going to be Frontan Willis against Lisa Ashton. Hmm. That surprises me. Yes. Uh, Bob, Kim Holden lost her opening game to uh, Kirsty Vinikainen. Tough first round game, that, to be fair, for both of them. Correct. You think Kirsty's still going? Rihanna Sullivan defeated Makura Suzuki early on. She's been beaten by Kirsty Vinikainen.
No, Greaves has lost the opening leg. After that, the end of this leg, there we go. The end of this leg, there we go. I was thinking we'll do it at the end of the Lindsay Ashton game because that's three apiece. Okay, that's what I was thinking. grab a quick ad break will we be finished for Eurovision quite possibly that's more important though in time for Mona Super Series week one finals night where you have the pleasure of Matthew Edgar and myself commentating oh yeah maybe not put Eurovision on <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lindsay Ashton from 3-0 down Defeats Vanessa Zadima for three. Yes. So on that, we are going to grab a quick ad break, everyone. But we will be back on the other side of this. Here we are for the next instalment of the Women's Series. Myself, Phil Bars, Jack Garwood, here bringing you everything as it happens. That's a funky little video. I like that one. Yeah. Boom. Is it just me that constantly has to change my default search engine back to Google on Chrome? Just you, I think. That's my nutting. 
Oh God, Leeds are one 0 up against Newcastle. <laughs> Big Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Ailing. <laughs> To be fair, sadly for you boys, I think even if you win all three games, you still don't get fourth. No, I, I think it's on. Do you know what? If that result stays the way it does, I think we might even make third. No, so I was looking I at they, it. I think they both falter. United are playing crap. Wolves is not a walkover. Chelsea are just started rocking up again. Newcastle have still got to play Leicester the week after we play them, and that'll be a relegation dogfight for them. So once we batter them, it will mean more to play Newcastle. Well, there's still a chance we finish third here, you know. Nah. At the risk of going all Kevin Keegan, I would love it. <laughs> That wasn't Keegan. Was that Keegan? Yeah, I would love it if we beat them. Love it. If Wolves get a result at United today, it's on. Yeah, but it just shows how shit the Premier League has been this year. Yeah. We've been terrible. I just, just highlights that how poor a Premier League it is. Mm-hmm. If Newcastle lose today, that puts us three points behind level on games before we play this weekend. <sighs> if United drop points today... I See, lose the walls. They're a point ahead of us. I still think you, United, you, you'd pick Wolves to play because they've got nothing to play for. Wolves are playing well, mate. They've got, they've got nothing to play for. That meant oh, they were shit the other week. They were awful. Against who? Brighton. The one yeah. four of their last six. Against Brighton, they were awful because they were safe. They won four of their last six. Who wins the Stanley Cup? Hopefully the Panthers, so at least then we lost to somebody that's going to lose. What's most important is who wins game seven in the garden tonight. And if it's not the Celtics, I might genuinely cry. Championship playoff. I don't think Borough will do it. Um... I can see a Cov Sunderland final. Cov might shade it. Stanley Cup. Remember who's still in? I stopped paying attention once we lost. Not if the couple minutes a joke. Ooh. I'm beating the Leafs is good. I think they'll beat the Canes. Um, on a subject we were talking about earlier, I can't remember who asked in the chat room. My apologies, but confirmation from Milton Keynes: it is the Trish Wright. 
playing in the women's series. Ooh. Uh, Stanley, I'd love to see a Florida Oilers final. I think. You don't want the crack in there. Vegas have had their success already. Eichel's just a little shit. Dallas are just boring. Yeah, a, a McDavid chance to win a cup, I think. And very hopeful of a Notts County win later on today. Uh, Fallon 2-0 up on Kiersey Vina Kynan, averaging 91. Uh, Lorraine Wynn, Stanley, Ethan McCormack, one apiece. Lisa Ashton took the opener against Fonsar and Willis. Once 96 for the second. Uh, Anka Zilstra leads Alien de Graaf 2 0. Yeah, it, it's time now for the National League to be too auto. There's big enough teams down there to sustain it. Even Dorkin are considering going professional next year. They're not 100%, but a lot of their released list this year, that was on social media this week, because actually that was pretty classy from, from them, the way that they did their departing player list um, with a personal message from the manager for each of them. is because they're moving from evening training sessions to daytime, which means they're gearing up to be a professional club. Who's that, Dorkin? Dorkin, yeah. And Is that the manager on TikTok? Yeah, Mark White. Yeah. So if they're gearing up to be a professional team, then you know that that league can sustain it. When you look at the top level of the teams in there as well, I think we need a big restructuring. And instead of the National League or the conference as I know it, you just make it League Three. Not League Three. I still think there's a balance to be made between National League North, National League South, and whatever remains in the National League. But I would change the pyramid to uh, 100, not 92. So I just have five divisions of 20. Three up, three down from every single one of them. God, we asked questions, or look, we'd, we'd heard the name Ethan McCormack last time when we were impressed. Even more so here, the fact that I know she's losing 2 1, but the average is around the 85 mark. There is 100% the potential of a very good player in Ethan here. Yeah. Also, I need to apologise to Robin Byrne because when Aoife beat Katie, I was like, oh, look, for the right to be Irish number one, Robin Byrne's still in. Yeah. That, that's a scary little trio of players, though, right there. I think it's a very, very good trio of players. Yeah. I mean, I used to work for Knox County. I knew Jason Turner, the CEO that passed away. I used to 
work under him a lot, but I'll never not be a Liverpool fan, but I will be I'll be disappointed if County don't win today. They deserve it. Yeah, completely. To go and put 107 points up after the years that they've had as well, you think the year I started working there was just after they lost in the playoff semis to I think it was Coventry, you know. That's how quickly football can change. Right? They were absolutely robbed at home. I went and watched it. I was in the, their car. And they were absolutely robbed. It was on TV. They had a goal disallowed that was onside for offside. Coventry had two that were allowed to stand that were both offside. There was a penalty incident that was never correct on field and, and all that. It was absolute shit show. And then after that, they end up relegated, miss out in the playoffs a couple of years in a row, and you're just like, you just trapped in the National League with only one auto going up. Yeah. Two of our last eight are known. They are Robin Byrne and Bo Greaves. Robin Byrne completing a 4 0 win over Corin Hammond, by the way. Uh, we can't be too far away from potentially adding a few more names to join. Uh, Fallon Sherrick is 3 0 up on Kiersey Vinakana, wants 1 3 5, uh, leaves 25 for the match. Uh, Lisa Rashton also leads 3 0 on stream against Von Sauer and Willis. Uh, Priscilla Steenberg has taken the opener against Lindsay Ashton. You know when I joked earlier about a potential Fallon versus Felicia? Now you're going to say mum versus daughter, aren't you? Yeah, it, it, it's literally the next round. It would be board five against board six. If Lindsay Ashton can overcome Priscilla Steenbergen, we would get Lisa versus Lindsay. Now, knowing that that's on the horizon, even more so, this should have been... <laughs> Uh, Aoife McCormack, Lorraine Wynn Stanley on stream right now with the chance of Lisa versus Lindsay on stream next. Yeah. Um, right, couple of questions. Uh, yeah, Jamie, she is finished. Uh, uh, she's in the 27. What are you on about? Look, this is the... Um, does MVG deserve to win the Premier League this year? It's not a question of whether you deserve it or not. It's the thing of it's not really a league because... You only have to get to the finals night and play well yeah. on one day. The first year that Johnny Clayton won it, did he deserve to win it? Probably not. The second year he makes the, the final or makes finals night, ends up losing first round. Probably deserved to win it more because he was the standout player for 16 yeah. weeks. Yeah, so that, that that that's the thing about it. It's not a it's not a league. It's a case of you just have to do what you have to do to get in that top four. Lisa has done her part. And a better performance as well. Yes. Football, a.k.a. soccer. No, not a.k.a. It is football. Premier League format hurts me. Oh, Vina Kahn pinched a leg back. Alan leaves the big fish after nine darts. We've seen this before. We've seen this before from Josh Rock. Oh, not soccer. Right. This is a bugbear, not just particularly this, but I, I actually really like women's football. Got into it after the, well, I enjoyed watching the Lionesses and I sort of like carried on watching the WSL job. Yeah. And, um, yeah. It's obviously women's FA Cup final this weekend. Now, there's been no VAR in any of them, but because of the finals at Wembley, they're then using VAR in the final. That is complete bullshit. Yeah, 
Yeah, you just tried to in. Do you know when I said Fowler left the big fish for the match? Did she actually just take that out? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. The fish. The fish. Hello. Well, hello there. <laughs> I like, Wayne's I like Wayne's reply to your hello there. Stop. My hello there? I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Don't be stitching me up, you dickhead. I won't tell you what his reply was. Um... Who's? Wayne's, because they were like, you're not going to play in it. I won't tell you what his reply was. <laughs> oh, I know for well. Morning? No, not quite. Yeah, as, as also now, now, now you've read my WhatsApp properly. I hundred percent. I reckon that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I agree, Bob. I think Chelsea will win the FA Cup tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Cookie time. Who wants a cookie? Nearing the end of this top 16, we might have to have another ad break once we do. As Anka Silstra does defeat Aileen de Graaf. Is Wade going to save like Lewis? Um, I was looking. Wade's in a bit of danger for the match play, I think. No. He's green. <laughs> What's that? So he's green at the moment, but Ross Smith is seventeen grand. Now that sounds a lot. However, when James Wade isn't at Euro Tours and Ross Smith is, that can evaporate quite quickly. Yeah, true. If, Jay, if, if if Wadey was at the Euro Tours as well and winning games on the Euro Tour, then I think he's safe. But the fact he's not is a is a bit of a worry. I like this comment. And whilst it is football related, the same applies to darts. No flags because we're in Newcastle. No football shirts because we're in Amsterdam. <laughs> oh, um, Aoife McCormack has beaten Lorraine Wynn Stanley. That's a big, big result as Aoife goes into the last eight. That should be streamed next, Eva versus Kirsty. We've already seen Fallon, we've already seen Lisa, we've already seen Bo. Penalty to Leeds. Yes! <laughs> it's happening! <laughs> In fact... For the rest of the season, I 
I'm turning Newcastle and Man United score notifications on. They've missed it! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bamford's missed! Silly Chelsea twat. Get your head cut. <laughs> um... Um, yeah, uh, Dan, it's, it's looked okay so far today. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I love about Wadey, right? Is that if he does finish or, or wrap up or, or anything like that, he will do it without any fuss, right? He'll just stop turning up, drop it into an article somewhere and just say, that's it, he's done, right? But he's also the sort of person that will spend months and months and months telling you he doesn't want a surprise for his birthday party and then complain when he doesn't have a surprise birthday party. Yeah. So he'll tell everybody he doesn't want a big send-off and then in six months' time he'll be like, well, I can't believe I didn't do anything. A little bit disappointed in Rangers today. Rangers? Yeah. They lost already? No, no no guard of honour for Celtic. I know their rivals and all that, however... Uh, that's never happening, come on. I, I, it should, though. It's, it's just etiquette. No. Lindsay is one away from setting it up. <laughs> <laughs> they have gone Eva versus Kirsty on the stream. Penalty to Newcastle. Ah, shit. I'm <laughs> off. Uh, um, yeah, Jamie, w- w- would I like Spurs to do it? No, but I would expect them to do it because it's the right thing to do. I wouldn't like it, but it's it's the dumb thing. You're what? A dumb thing. <laughs> oh, VAR check first. I'm... I'd, Matthew, I'd, I'd expect anyone to do it. It's like, at the end of the day, that team has been the best and they've won the league. Whoever it is. Fair, you lot went one bad, didn't you? You let your biggest rivals win the league at your home ground rather than give them a guard of honour. Yeah. Well, I was there as well that day. It was hilarious. Because <laughs> uh, we, we, we drew the game. We drew the game to all. And um, if anyone that had been to the old White Hart Lane won, won all. Um, if anyone had been to, to the old White Hart Lane it was awful because all the fans, it's still still bad now that all the fans have to go down Seven Sisters Road to get out. Now, they like, they tried to keep the Arsenal fans in to stop trouble, being that Arsenal had won the league. So instead, there was all the Spurs fans congregated around the corner where the Arsenal fans were there. You had a police cordon trying to keep out thousands of fans. All the Spurs fans were singing, let them out, let them out, let them out. But because there was that many, they couldn't disperse the crowd quick enough. And the Arsenal fans were in there for about two and a half hours. One or two for the match for Lindsay Ashton. <laughs> do, do we think Lisa stood behind watching, cheering her on? Yeah. <laughs> you... 
here we are. Three match starts in hand. <laughs> Can you, Lindsay? Can you? Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> no. Ooh. 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 Abby. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's on. It's on. Fuck me. Do you know what else is on? What? The draw for the next event. Is it? Uh-huh. Board one, Bo Greaves. Board two. Marlene Badger is probably the biggest name there. Board three, Tori Kewish has the bye. And yep. we'll play the winner of Megan Humphreys or Amory Potts. That board also includes Noelin Van Leuven against Robin Byrne and Roos van der Velte against Fallon Sherrock. They are two boards away from each other. As Fallon goes one up on Robin Byrne. Uh, board four, Casey Gallagher, Natalie Gilbert, Laura Turner, Rebecca Edwards. Board five, Corin Hammond, Aileen de Graff, and Dorostein. Uh, board six, Rachel Brooks, Ros Bulmer, Eleanor Cairns. Board seven, Ryan Griffiths, uh, Michelle Andrews, Courtney Hines in there as well. Board eight, uh, Chloe O'Brien against Anastasia de Bromislova to open anyone. Uh, board nine is where you find Lisa Ashton. So she's in the opposite half of the draw. She's on the same board as uh, Maria O'Brien. Uh, board 10, Rihanna Sullivan, Aoife McCormack, Lorraine Wynn Stanley, all on that one. Board 11, this is an interesting little board for up and coming. You've got Aurora Fochasata, Josie Patterson, Katie Sheldon, uh, Suzanne Smith's in there as well. Uh, board 12. Anka Zilstra against Zoe Jones is your first round game. Uh, board 13 is where you find Lindsay Ashton. She'll start against Sharon Stratzma Pull. Board 14, Kim Holden has received the bye. She will play the winner of Stacey Aylesbury or Kirsty Chubb. Also on this board, Dieter Hedman, Terry Francis Kidwell, Almadina Fayado Ayuso, and Mikuru Suzuki. Ooh. <laughs> uh, board 15 is where you'll find Trina Gulliver, uh, Sarah Milkowski both of the Van Vegans. they're on the same board and would play each other in the last 64 family affair at the women's series today and on board 16 uh, is where you will find Chrissy Manley Kirsty Hutchinson, Joe Clements, Lorraine Hyde Vicky, Pru Vicky Pilgrim Felicia Blay and Kirsty Vina Kynan Aoife McCormack is a speedster. Did I also just see her forget to remove her dart from the bullseye? Yes. Um, do you throw in a James Wade dart as well? Interesting. I'm not sure I like the action. It works. It, it, it works. <laughs> do you think it's a bit stuttery at the back end. Hmm. 
Right, Robin Burns leveled up with Fallon Sherrick. We need a feature game. At this point, I'm putting both all. Let's go that way. Oh my God, what has he done now? He's got a hockey stick. A, ho a hockey stick, a helmet, a puck that he's just signed and given away to a kid. <laughs> if I speak. <laughs> With God's sake, Damo. <laughs> I'm afraid to fight Dylan Slevin. So what's he going to do for London? Or Leicester? <coughs> London, I walk on as a chap, wouldn't it? White <laughs> tracksuit. Ali G in the house. You get me, blood. Blackpool would just be a stick of rock. Or he could bring on a donkey. Someone will deliver him to stage. I'll just have to unwrap him. That's some nice scoring from Fallon Shirk. He could come out as Prince Charles. To, uh, King Charles, sorry. Whoa! Charles. <laughs> Not my king. <laughs> My king's from Egypt and plays on the right wing. <laughs> so a nice little 99 finish there from Ethan McCormack. Levels it up at one apiece. Mm. She don't hang around. <laughs> She's off. She's a proper speedster. It's like, vroom, gone. Mm. Literally, two darts are in the board, pretty much as Kirsty get back round on her shoulder. Mm. No, there's absolutely no reason to bring that up. Why would you do that? <laughs> Fallon Sherrod wants 54 to seal her spot in the semi-finals. And... Nope, because it's first to five at this stage. I was about, I was about to say. <laughs> what dickhead. Do we think Barry Hearn is taking note of Damon? Yes. For what purpose is completely for a different matter. If they don't get him doing something ridiculously stupid to promote the World Series now, they've missed a boat here. I don't think anybody lets anybody beat them at top level professional sport. I think you can concentrate less and be less concerned with the result. 
but I don't think anybody lets them win. I think that's very dangerous territory. Yeah. Uh, no, Matt, they're all boring. Gob hates the wrestling. However, I love it. So, top five of all time. Oof, I'm just going to go my era because obviously there are there are some greats that were before my time that that I that I never saw. Um, but um, <laughs> getting gone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and Cherok is in the semi-finals. <laughs> um, my my top five. Mm, who would I go? Austin, The Rock, Triple H, and then where am I going? Hogan and probably Cena for what he did. The Undertaker's close, I agree, Jake. Um, no, it's... Uh, yeah, Jamie H Hogan's my era, mate. Yeah, uh, Jamie, I'm old. I went to oh, CM Punk. That's a shout. Um, I'm, I'm old. I went to SummerSlam 92 at the old Wembley Stadium. <laughs> My parents hadn't even met each other then. <laughs> um, still waiting for Lindsay and Lisa to get underway. Um, Kirsty Hutchinson is in control now against Ethan McCormack. Bo Greaves is averaging 109 after a poor first leg. She's gone through the gears. Yeah, it's been a bit good, this. Yeah. Sixty-four after twelve for the match. With two visits that were trouble. <laughs> That's just not right. And the Ashton Derby is underway. I'm going to swap to it as soon as this last leg from Bo is done. Let's watch it go in. Tiny little run from Kirsty Hutchinson here. Are, are we finally seeing Kirsty arrive on the women's series, Gob? After uh, telling, after saying earlier that she hadn't done enough. Look, average as well here. Thank you. 
So the cutoff for the women's match play is June twenty sixth. So I think we've got this block and one more. We just double check that. Kirsty Hutchinson does seal victory over Aoife McCormack. Right, so we've got that one here, that one here, and then in June. Yeah, so we've got today, tomorrow, and then two, two and another four events, which are the 24th and 25th. God, have the PDC been a bit clever here? The fact that they've put the cut-off for the match play in Germany. Yeah, We didn't get numbers before, so we'll make sure we do. Uh, Jamie, the meaning was that beforehand if it was just a normal women's series in germany numbers weren't that great but putting it as the car for the match play means that they have to go Uh, one more game left in the quarterfinals. <laughs> to be fair, some of those you don't even know. You've had to Google them. The only one I didn't know was Bam Bam, but his name sounds funny. I'm surprised you knew Umaga. Yeah, oh, Umaga's one of my favourite gifts. <laughs> um. I'll show you. Where's, where are you on WhatsApp? GIF, heart. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the boogeyman. The boogeyman just crawling out. Uh, Danny, we are almost at... Well, we've got four... We've got three to four semi-finalists. Fallon Sherrick will play Kirsty Hutchinson. And Bo Grease will play the winner of Lindsay or Lisa, currently looking like Lisa. And then the other one, the other wrestling related gif I've got is you know the Vince McMahon walk. Yeah. I've got that with Jeremy Corbyn on and Jordan Henderson on from the season we won the Premier League, <laughs> where everybody was slating him.
I don't think we're going to get a call on which streaming game until we get a result from this either. No. Because if it's Lisa, it will be Bo versus Lisa. If it's Lindsay, I think it would be Fallon versus Kirsty. Or do we have to watch Kirsty? Yeah, they kind of shot themselves in the foot. Which, if they'd gone to Rain Evil when I told them to, they then would have had the Ashton Derby. Could have jumped back to Fallon versus Robin and would be able to drop back on to the final, which would be Bo or Lisa. Correct. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, Danny, um, Lindsay, and Danielle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's white chocolate chip, isn't it? I'm a sucker for white chocolate. And I love mint chocolate as well. Which is quite... A lot of people don't, but... You have a feeling this has to go, Gob, if Lindsay is to have any chance. Yes. I mean, she's not been a million miles away, but this is perhaps where the experience for Lisa is just telling that little bit. Yeah. And the occasion. Cookie. Yeah, that's trouble. You slack. <laughs> well, the other three have all gone straight in the bin, and that one hit the backboard, the wall, dropped into the bin, and bounced off one of the others and come back out again. Close. So, saying you slag is a lot friendlier than what it would be if I just missed a dart and topped in a darts match. Put it that way. <laughs> You beep 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 like Morse code. Yeah. Like Southern Fried Chicken, but change the letters in the acronym change the words in the acronym. Alan vs. Kirsty is showing us warming up, and it's not showing as the streaming board game, so potentially that one is just going to get gonna on go with it. Bo, They're going to go Bo Lisa as the, the stream. Yes.
And the last time Hatter won a title, they were in a pro tour last year. Anyway, he won a pro tour last year, I think. Interesting. Gob Fallon's one win away from jumping into fourth on the overall order of merit. Interesting. And I'm not sure on the race for the match play. Fallon is one win away from jumping to fourth in that as well. That starts to look a little bit more what we're used to seeing. And Bagel served. Just three points different in the averages, but 5-0 scoreline. That will be an interesting table for the rest of the day in Milton Keynes. At this point, we are going to show both games when they are on. So if you're watching the stream as well, just pause us for a couple of seconds. Make sure you line up with where you are on PDC TV. But remember, the chat room will be slightly delayed at that point. All right, whilst we're waiting for these, we'll go whack a quick add-on. To keep our sponsors happy, keep our sponsors happy, but we'll be back on the other side of this. Four one, Joe Taylor, Garrett Tilly, and four two, Craig Nixon, Robin Young. Everyone, go and check out the ADC site for all the news on the vaults and their tournaments that are upcoming. What he said. And the second game is now warming up. Yep, there it is. There's the graphic. Lisa versus Boat. This is sort of the final, similar to the final four. We've yeah. been expecting for a while. Yeah, look, there's there's one name missing. It is a combination of Bo, Lisa, Fallon, and other. And this is the first time it has materialised. Yeah, look. If we're being completely selfish, and this is nothing against Kirsty because he's a fabulous player, but if we're if we're calling the perfect lineup, you would substitute Kirsty for McCurry. Yeah, on, on recent form, and yeah, you would. Yeah. Remember, everyone, make sure you come and drop us a like. Come and say hi in the chat room as well. God doesn't bite. Much. And remember, all our social platforms are there on the screen for you. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Um, 
uh, random one. Um, but yes, there there is random drug testing by the I think it's the UK DA. He was the testing partner. Um, but the the PDC has signed up as a sporting organisation, as a sporting organisation. So there are random tests. There's been many event that we've been at where the winner has been delayed doing his media because he has to go and pee in a bottle. Um, that, that's a very, it's a very big art. That's a different. That's a whole can of worms that we could potentially do a whole show on. Gob. Um, yeah, but one, it was excluded from darts anyway. But actually, the IOC now don't recognise alcohol as a performance enhancing drug. It's not whether they recognise it or not. It's should it be? No. <laughs> well, it shouldn't. Don't laugh at me. Every scientific explanation for what alcohol does to you should make you worse. It affects your coordination. Alcohol should be banned from the PE, from darts. You should be banned from darts. Oosh. Oosh. To be fair, the way they've done it today, this has definitely gone quicker. Which is good. Yeah, it was like an hour under I thought we might be, but... When they started spinning things up, I was hopeful we might be done by about one. That means we're done by about six later. That is not the case. No, but it's still not going to be the 11 hours. It's still not going to be nearly 12 hours like it was last block. You say that. From here, if they piss around waiting in between the next games. I don't think they'll wait too long. 10 till 2 is 6 hours. This is looking at just over 6. Still looking at 12, 13 hour stream. Right, right. I can tell you because the bracket, we've been streaming 3 hours, 38 minutes. Who taught me to count? Yeah, that. <laughs> Still looking at over 8, eight, eight and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say we're, we're miles in front Bad of miles. Miles. Start calling you the Salsa. Sure. I'm about looking at me. <laughs> uh, that's a nice 13 dart leg to open. It's not bad, is it? What I don't want to then do is back it up with a score of 39. Stevie B firing a maxes. It's not a bad counter punch, though, is it? From the thirty nine? No. Might need it again, though. (laughs) 
Sira, ya ke baik an. Sira sifat tuan kita tu. Okey. Tak. One eighty from Kirsty gets her back in this leg. Mm. Alan just missed double sixteen. That's both troubles. So Alan looking at sixteens for a two nil, and it goes. Thirty-one darts with two legs. What darts do you think Peter Wright will use tonight? I think they'll be straight. I think he might try the elements. And we have pictures on the stream. God told you they wouldn't hang around too too much. Let's get on. Game on. My next door neighbour has a massive tree in their garden. And the birds are singing. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Uh, Lisa Ashton not really firing in this opening leg of the contest in the stream semi final. <laughs> Get a cat. <laughs> no, no one likes cats. That's a lot. My girlfriend has a cat, but I hate it. Shh, it's a secret. You just told the world. <laughs> Does she like darts? No. <laughs> Big moments here. This twist, I'll say, this 28 has to go because Kirsty has just applied a little bit of pressure and up to average. See, look. I know she's behind God, but the, the 91 average is what we expect from Kirsty um, because of the levels that she has. Yes. I guess it's a case of walk before you run here as well, because we've been asking her to produce a run of this level and magnitude, etc., for a while now in terms of women's series performances. But the question now is, is she capable of producing a big performance to knock off one of these big three, big four? 
Yeah. Um, Andrew, I wouldn't say a point to prove. I'd just say that she's got a prep right this year, where last year she didn't play enough, where this year she's played in the Super Series a couple of times. Um, I just think she's in a better place this year in terms of her, her overall game gob. Yeah. Oh, 104 check out for Fallon. But we'll, we'll, we'll just wait and see whether this goes or not. And if it does, it does. Look, how disappointed is Lisa Ashton going to be here? She trails Bo Greaves 2 0. And under normal circumstances, you say, okay. But when Bo's only averaging 77 gob, you have to take these chances. Yeah. Lisa just doesn't look like she believes in a game at the minute. I mean, if they both rock up playing the way that they are right now, you, of the four right now, Fallon's the best player in this moment. How long that continues is a different matter. This is the thing that, that Bo doesn't normally produce two below par performances in a row that we saw her do it at the lakeside and then bounce back. We've seen her do it before. She'll throw in one like this, but then the next one is back to normal. Yeah. Lisa has. <laughs> Switch to play on the nine teams. Back to back one seven ones. Look, if it works, it, it's Ross but... Fallon has matched us. But again, that, that comes from not having the line on the twenties or, or just not Just seeing it, just watching the stream, it's she's always low on the 20, on the travel 20 when she's thrown out at the moment. This would hurt. I was gonna say that would have hurt because Lisa should be back to 2 1 and she's made a bit of a mess. She still is, she wants double one now. Oh, that was the bust. There we go. Here comes a 34. She gets one on the board. Last start in hand. Is that a tide turner? So, Fallon Sherrick is into the final. Who will she play? Again, Lisa's gone back to those 19s. Three one seven ones in a leg and a bit. All right, when you can hit 19s like that, why not? She might well be the best 19 here in the world right now at this moment. <laughs> This, this passage of play here, Gob's huge because Lisa has forged that break back, and this is to hold and get us level. 
but to give the opportunity straight back would be a right killer. I think she's missed it out of tops. Yeah. Lifeline. But it's only a lifeline if this goes. Yeah, it was a dark tops. It's lower tops. Oh. oh, that's a mess. Yeah, and it's a strange one as well because every single miss in this match for Lisa has been low, and to score six from twenty means you've gone high. Yeah. Is that though because you you know you're going low, and you're then putting more on it to try and get it where it should be? Could be. It was the bottom corner of the six, but. I tried to teach my girlfriend's play darts. I have a freestanding dartboard. It's not attached to the wall. It's been going all right. And then yesterday, she completely missed the stand. <laughs> Ended up on the floor 10 yards past the dartboard. Not ideal then. No, Barry, one away. She tees up tops after twelve. We know it's gone. For a 15. The bits I've heard of Abby Davis, I've been really impressed with. The issue is, obviously, when we're streaming, we watch the stream in silence. Yeah, so, yeah, I've not heard a lot of it, or none of it. Back to 4-2, but remember, Lisa Ashton has no wiggle room here at all. She has to be perfect. Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. So, another two trouble visit here. That's enough to keep her. The trouble 20s are coming back a little bit here as well. The 139 and the 99 have both been low on the 19, not liked it. Forced herself back up for the 20s. 
and getting a reward for it. But that that's a slip. That makes Bo favourite again in this leg. It does now. Wrong. Yeah. There was a flicker of hope, but has it just been extinguished? No. No. Is the answer. But this 83 has to go, Gob. She's missed the dart at the ball. This is taking a long time. Ooh. First one hugs the wire. The second one did the same. That's a step in either direction to see what gave her the best yeah. line. That's what I mean. It was taking its time. It was a case of what, what wanted to see what they were like. I mean, this is going to be some dive when this last one goes in. Huge step across over the top of two of them. It's a great dart. And we await the final. The final will be Fallon Sherrick against Bo Greaves. Fallon coming from the top half of the draw, Bo the bottom. Have they met since the incident? I think so. Didn't they meet in the last block? Oh, Colin has put up two meetings, 2022 Women's Series 19 final, 2023 Women's Series 1 quarter final. Yeah. Five, three, and four, one of the scores so far. Because didn't I can't remember which way around. Fallon missed a massive moment, and then Bo steamrolled her. Yeah. Early on, I think Fallon missed maybe a chance for two nil, and when it went one all, it was. Well, Ryan Sir won. Oh, Christ, when I, when I looked round. The crowd started to whistle Steve Beaton on doubles. How can dare they? That's wrong. On every level. So is Newcastle having two penalties to go 2 1 up after Leeds missed one. Are they 2 1 up now? Yeah. <laughs> You're not singing anymore. Neither are you, because we're going to watch this advert.
Welcome back, everyone. God, we're back with us in a second. So I'm just holding the fort. Welcome up. Uh, welcome back as we await the final. Fallon Sherrick will play Bo Greaves in the final. And look, Bo is not going to be taught, caught at the top of the Order of Merit, but Fallon has moved up to fourth. A win here would put her third in the overall order of merit. The same for the match play. Uh, Bo won't be caught at the top. But a win here, again, would put Fallon third as well. So, chat room, what are you saying? Who wins? Bo or Fallon? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> when was the last time Fallon beat Bo? Um, off the top of my head, I don't know, Bob. Let's try and have a look. Game is showing us warming up. So, fingers crossed, we won't be too long. So let us know who you think is going to get the job done. Um, again, make sure you drop us a little subscribe. Um, I think I think it's interesting. I think. Look, Bo won't play as bad as what she does. I say bad, look, I'd be happy with 81. But I don't think Bo will play to that level in the final. Uh, different class, I, I don't know. Oh, we have pictures on the stream and Gob isn't back yet. Bo has won the ball.
Uh, Barry looking at 94 after nine to win the first on throw. Like we said, Bo wouldn't play as badly in this one, and she hasn't. Tees up tops after 12. And the tops goes in two. Bo Greaves takes the opener to lead 1-0. At the moment, the way these two are playing, any troublous visit is a mistake. And the first one is from Fallon, only 58. As Bo replies, back to back guns. Steady. Sorry. One thing, notice, Gob, that in, from a semi-final as well, and then the, the first leg here, Bo's tops is, is low a lot at the moment. Look, the tens was in the middle, but against Lisa as well, a couple of times we saw a chase into tens and fives. The the tops isn't there so what far. What just happened? I don't know, but I they're all they've, laughing. They've just pulled a camera down. I'm sure they have. It just started tilting down to look at the hockey and then both had to jump out of the way. <laughs> We've got Gary, head of security in there, trying to sort it all out. <laughs> the, the board cam is at a funny angle. I was going to say, cut the pictures while they fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, casual. Yes, Leeds have scored. I've just seen on Do Dobie's there at Ellen Road today in the Newcastle end. Yes. <laughs> Rangers are 3 up against Celtic. That's funny. Well, we just try and wait for them to restore some pictures. What's happened? The camera has fallen off in the streaming booth. Yeah. To be fair, it was nice to see Fallon and Bo sharing a laugh about it as well. Yeah. I don't think I think it's a bit like the Lisa rivalry and everything else. It's been built up a lot more by those around it and those that do similar jobs to us more than the players. Yeah, yeah. I don't disagree. Well, anyway, whilst we just wait for um for some pictures, um the the cameras have fallen over in the streaming booth. They are not cheap. <laughs> um, no. Someone's had a mare.
do we have any Which we knew we were just watching. It just started to tumble. Yeah, it was just like Timber. Ooh. What are you ooing about? Oxfordshire being six two up against Cleveland. Yeah, I know. La la la. <laughs> Up here beating Dorset as well. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, I don't know if they've announced the lineup yet or not. So I won't spoil it just in case they haven't. I mean, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Anyone know the Lancashire score? Uh, they're against Cornwall. 5 1 up. Look, God, this is going to be probably five or so minutes. What's the protocol here? Do the players get nine and then we start from Bone's throw? Yeah, they're going to have to. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Ollie Solskjaer's interview that he's given about Haaland before he even was e before he was even United boss? No. This is genius. Ollie Solskjaer and Erling Haaland. I called Manchester United six months before I took over and told them that I'd got this striker, the boy Haaland, we had, but they didn't listen. I asked for four million for Erland and he would have and he could have gone to United then. They didn't sign him. Oh dear. Is that like Wenger allegedly signing every bloody player in the world though? Yeah, but I think this is a bit different because he was under Solskjaer, wasn't he? Yeah. But yeah, four, four million they could have signed him for and they said no. Oops. That'll hurt. In this situation, God, who do you think this affects more, Fallon or Bo? Uh, probably Fallon, because it's chasing. Yeah, this isn't helping. I'm just scrolling county results now instead. Oh, 
Oops. Um, no, um, PDC darts daily. Um, Bo was about to throw, and the camera has fallen off the wall. The side camera has just completely fallen off, and they're doing some running repairs because it was um, at a funny angle on the screen, shall we say. Won't be too long. What's the way line for a different class? Way line for? <laughs> way line for? You need that for? PDC have just tweeted there will be a short delay to the Women's Series Event 5 final in Milton Keynes due to a technical issue with the staging. Play will resume in approximately 10 minutes' time. So judging by that tweet, Gob, um, that's the diplomatic way of putting it. The way I read that is the camera is absolutely the fucked. The camera is smashed to pieces. <laughs> yeah. the, the camera is fucked and we're just rigging a new one. Yeah. <laughs> That's the um, the untechnical term. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the um well. I'm just going to the new quick kids. We've got 10 minutes. Yeah, might as well. Okay, bye. Bye. They don't have to go to a shop. They'll have more on the truck or whatever, but... We think this team normally stream two streaming boards, so... Diving in. Someone teach Leeds how to defend. How do you check Lancashire's games? If you go on darts for windows, there should be a live scores page within that. It is incredibly ancient for a scoring system, but it does the job.
Get up. Six minutes, breath. Bada ba ba do ba da. Do you want to get bomb diggy diggy gaming in jeans? Chizzy's five two up. I've got the football on. Leeds are imploding, man. I've seen Bamford's been booked and he's not even on the pitch. Furpo's just been sent off. Bamford is on the... Oh, Bamford's going off now. He was on the pitch. No, not according to the live score app. It's got Bamford booking, not on the pitch. Unless he's just been booked in the last 30 seconds after he's been... Subbed. No, nah, he got booked and then subbed. No more wrestling. More wrestling. Oh. <laughs> Fans have been booted out. <laughs> what, at the Euros or? No, the football. Ah. Fang all the way to Eddie Howe, grabbed him and pushed him. Has then been dragged out. What, a Leeds fan? Yeah, looks it. Great way to get yourself banned for life. Oh, they've changed the sign. They've just made a new graphic. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Please bear with us. That's a new one. <laughs> Hi. We're experiencing an issue that the um, camera is absolutely fucked. Please bear with us. Go on, then. Breath. 
Someone clatter him. <laughs> Breath. Oh, come on. It's it. Ooh. Did you um, see the Richard Keys interview that he gave as well this week? That he said, um, you know, the um, Sunes leaving Sky was all like put across as by mutual consent. Yeah. It wasn't. Was he pushed? Yeah, because of his it's a man's game comment last year. Oh, well. If anybody else had come out and said that, I'd care. But the fact that's come from Richard Keyes, well, nothing to do with it. I don't um, mind. I, I still think Keyes is a good, I good presenter. Fucking idiot. Yeah. I still think he's decent. No, he's a fucking moron. This is a long 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, basically, Johnny, the camera's fucked and they're repairing it. No, but basically, the side camera fell off the wall. Oh, dear me. Uh, if anyone's got any questions, whack her in the chat room. We'll try and answer them while we wait for some pictures. Questions that aren't what's going on and how long will this take? <laughs> yeah. Mm, I don't know. If I'm being honest, next week. Um... Oh, there we go. Oh, I think we might have some movement. Yes, we have. We have the game continuing. Whether or not we're going to get live pictures is a completely different... We've got pictures. Oh. What's wrong with my singing, Joe? <laughs> Oh, 
Fallon's made a mess of the 119. Bo Greaves now looking at 108 to break. Doesn't go. Key battle here, Gob. 64 against 66. Get a chance at 64 first, and it goes in three. What a piece. That's a big moment, because if that doesn't go, you're fearing 2 0 and you're up against it. Hmm. Look, you're still up against it. You still need to find a break of throw. It's quality, all right. I presume normally when they're streaming floor events, there's two streaming boards, so the camera will be all set, ready to go. From to, the a point, to a point, you, you, you've still got to do a little bit of programming. Yeah. Pair matching each other at the moment, but is it advantage? Bo Greaves in this leg. She has the darts. 220. How handy can this be left? Extremely. That's not bad. Ninety for two one and three holds. The 90 goes in three. Uh, yeah, I'm going to New York. And the Rocket, who wins the Super Series tonight? Good question. I think that I think there's a lot of streaky players in there. That there's a few that could just run rampant. I look at your Laubies and your Moreno Bloms, and if they get it right on the night gob, they could just walk it. But the other thing is, if they're off, they're going to be nowhere near. Yes, and because of that, I think Ryan Palmer will win. I thought David Evans was solid. Yeah, I'll go with him instead. Huge maximum. Fallon. Mistake. Yes. Punished. Last start in hand. Break a throw. Bo Greaves leads 3 1. That will hurt. Uh, I don't know if he's back playing on the WDF tour or not. I don't really know what he's doing. It leaves a finish after nine. Only a max hurts, though, Gov. It's 
Some 40 here would be lovely. 180 would be massive. Not so much. Not enough. Bo Greaves, three darts in hand for 4 1. Goes in two. Bo Greaves leads Fallon Sherrick 4 1 in the final of the Women's Series 5 event. Oh, this is a nice little response. Yeah, but it's one of those ones where it, it looks good on your own throw, but at 4-1, you just need this on your opponent's throw. Yeah. Fallon changed her MO. What do you mean? Is she not a top hitter over 16s? Nah. We all know we all know the double of choice is eighteens, but yeah. yeah. It's just sixty to open from Bo. And another. This has to be a 140 gob. Or better. But are you betting against it being one of those two? No. There we go. <laughs> I know, 100% you wouldn't. Fallon is lurking if this doesn't go, but you would expect Bo to get at least one dart goal. Or you'd expect her to get a dart at this. Yeah. Such as a prowess. There we said it. You would, we said we'd expect her to get a dart to win it. It shouldn't be that easy. Is she a 19s or a 20s merchant here? 20s by the eyes. <sighs> it's the... It, at the moment, the thing that's impressed me most about Bo today, when we've seen her on the stream, is Dart 2. Because a lot of the time, Dart 1's been pulled low today. But the recovery on Dart 2 has been remarkable. Darts is not an easy game. A 
Bogreaves is making it look so right now as she is Women's Series Event 5 winner. As we head into event six. Oh dear. I can just change my settings in a minute if you want. That's right. That needs to be live anyway. So, from still no dark green on dark connect, Gob. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed in those guys. I've been bigging them up for so long. Um, I don't know if you saw it last night, but Kim Hybrex's new darts gone as well. You seen them? I did not. Let me have a look on my telephone. <laughs> they look a bit fatter to me than the ones you were scrying. Yeah. But black is slimming. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. So let's Let's get down, let's get down to business. We have a game warming up. Somebody's pressing the buttons. Come on, let's go. Let's get this show on the road. So, so getting ready for event number six. WF in Cyprus. Finding results for that tough. I 
and being phased. I think we've lost a couple this afternoon. There only seems to be one board with... Two boards, board 16 and board 8. That's a surprise. Now, if I've worked this out probably, we can either watch Trina Gulliver against Leanne Topper, which is live now. On the two boards that have extra players, I'm expecting Anastasia versus Chloe O'Brien or Kirsty Hutchinson and Joe Clements. Um, I'm easy, I don't mind. I'll go with that one. I'll go with that one. I weren't wasting any time though, because it's like, right, get them on. In fact, I'm only really going to be on for about another 10 minutes. I need to go and grab a quick shower, drive to Portsmouth, and then hop back on. Yeah. Get ready to rumble. <clears throat> I was right. Anastasia and Chloe O'Brien are alive. Trina's not really firing, is she, so far? No. Good question. I will look. I think so. I th my, my, my gut reaction is yes. Christ, at the moment he is absolutely miles away. He's provisionally ninety-seven. Yeah, that's not good. He 
he needs to make up 30 grand just to get to 64 at the moment. Sheesh. I didn't realise how close Mervyn King's getting to losing his card. He's provisionally 54 on the tour. He'll be all right this year, but mm. like ne next year. There's a whole cluster of players just outside. Ted Everts, Florian Hempel, Steve Lennon, John O'Shea, Labanowskis and Brooks and Burnett and Williams. Right, I'm just going to run you through the list of names that are outside at the moment, Gob. Everts, Hempel, Lennon, O'Shea, Labanowskis, Brooks, Burnett, Lou Williams, Kevin Dutes, Jeff Smith, Scott Waits, Jose Justicia, Connor Scott, Christoph Kachuk, Brian Roman. There's only really a few of them, though, that you... Bradley Brooks has turned his form around to start this year so far, or certainly appears that way. I think he's got a good crack at going back up the other way. Um, John O'Shea needs the Pro Tour back. He's been steady enough on those, but the Euro Tours are not being there killing him. Um, who else is in that list? Jeff Smith. He's never really been one to dominate or push on to make the top 32 or anything, so... Being in around that number just seems to be a, a result of his natural ability. Um, Labanowskis had a terrible year last year. Louis Williams is one that's not kicked on. Yeah. I think Burnett will lose his card. I think Burnett will lose his card. I think Scott Waits is in trouble. Just don't see enough of his A game. Brian Hammond is flying, by the way. 3-0 up on Alex Howard. Shea Carl, one all with Trish Wright. Gob's favourite name. Emma Wapshop just levelled it up. I love Dirk. Yeah, I'm concerned though that that knee's fucked. We'll see, won't we? You didn't see much of it last week, did you, the Euro Tour? No. He looked in agony. The amount of strapping he had on it apparently was unreal.
Um, we don't know the official diagnosis. We just know he's got he, he had an ongoing knee problem and then made it a lot worse when he stacked it. He'll still be out of a rave next week or something stupid. Yeah. Hi, John. Bye, John. Sad. Great input. Solid. Corin Hammond is your first winner in event number six. She beats Alec Howard 4 0, 75 average. Uh, Anastasia de Bromslova might well follow her very quickly. 3 0 up on Chloe O'Brien. Trina Gulliver, 3 0 up on Leanne Topper, Welsh international. The only plus point is, Gob, is that John had to actually subscribe to be able to comment in the chat room, which is the best bit. Ah. Got him. Aurora Fochisar are in trouble. Looking like another first round exit for the young Italian. Yeah, I mean, the first one was against Fallon, so you can forgive her for that, but. <laughs> yeah. Kirsty Hutchinson, three and up on Joe Clements. Uh, no, Tracy's not playing today. I don't know the the reasons behind it, but I know actually I do. Thinking about it logically, she's playing for Hampshire this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, it's still county weekend as well, so. Leanne O'Sullivan back in front against Carly Townsend on the stream. Anastasia De Bromislova 3 0 up on Chloe O'Brien. Chrissy Manley 3 0 up. Casey Gallagher just leveled it up against Wendy Reinstattler. That's not Dirk. That's Mario. Walking on to a bit of Chesney. Big fan. I'm trying to see Dirk's walk on, see how comfortable he is, because he didn't look at it last mm -hmm. week. Anastasia wins 4-0 over Chloe O'Brien and Trina Gulliver does the same over Leanne Topper. Bagels all around. Is it lunchtime already? <laughs> yeah, uh, Dirk's knees, obviously. You can, one, you can see he's limping and that is a very slow walk to the hockey. It's a 4-0 win for Kelsey Hutchinson over Joe Clements. Also, what do we have warming up? Not a lot. What do we have still early on? Sweet nothing. Ailing the graph, you will do. Are you watching this, Borg on Gob? It's or it's very miss already. It's very pedestrian. Mm. There's no run up the stairs. No, you could see him limping down the walkway. Yeah. Steph Clark beats Lisa Hughes 4-1. Uh, Rihanna Sullivan, 3-1 now. Two-leg advantage for her. Wendy Reinstattler, 3-2 up now on Casey Gallagher. Rihanna 
right, God, I'm going to go for a shower and then drive to Portsmouth. I shall be back on once I'm down. Sound. Right, chat room. I shall be back probably just over an hour from the time I have a shower and get to Portsmouth. So I'll see you all shortly. Bye. Get rid of him. Just me now. All of you hiding, can I come back? I saw him on a bad first leg, but then went 18, 18, 18. Tidy. Will Dirks get the Players' Championship next week? Potentially. It depends what he's been told. Doctors-wise, doesn't it? If he's got a few weeks before they can do anything about it or it's just got to heal naturally, there's no point. I don't know. If Wolves take three points from United today, then maybe. Um, if Leeds had held on for a win rather than a draw, then potentially then as well. Other than that, that we're playing two of the bottom three. Or bottom five, so. That bloke is absolutely everywhere. Anyway, back to the ducks. <laughs> There's a slight worry that Alien DeGraff may have missed the boat a tiny bit. Look, Bo Greaves has been ridiculously dominant. Um, but while Lisa and Fallon have relatively struggled, Makura has been the one to break through and pick up that extra title, whereas that could have been Aileen. Afternoon, Gail. How are we? Weekend off, is it? Couple of wins on the board. Chris Savory beats Gemma Bowen 4 2. 4 1 win for Rihanna Sullivan over Carly Townsend. Amory Potts beats Megan Humphreys 4 1. As we get a deciding leg between Sabrina Young and Otto and Vanessa Zydema. Uh, Amy Evans has beaten Aurora Fochisato 4 1. And in the graph leads, Laura Patton 2 0 as your featured game. Wendy Reinstattler has just beaten Casey Gallagher 4 2. Both players over the 70 average mark in that one.
Suzanne Smith warming up, as is Lorraine Wynn Stanley. As the graph goes 3 0 up. Marlene Badger beats Emma Wapshot 4 2. Claire Brookin goes up against Rebecca Hoyland. A few snarls coming from Dirk Van Dyve and Bodo. Did win the opening leg. As Young and Otter beats Zudema. Brandon Bahada levels up at one apiece with Dirk Van Dyvenboda. Right. Don't need all of that. Four 0 win for Alien De Graf over Laura Patton. I want to know exactly what's going on next. Robin Byrne against Noah Lynn Van Leuven. Get that one ready. Chrissy Manley beats Lindsay Glaudemans for two. Afternoon, Andrew. How are we doing? Kirsty Chubb beats Stacey Aylesbury for three. Motoring on quite nicely here in the first round. After our, all the hard work they did this morning. Trying to shorten the time that these events take. Scuppered a little bit by that mishap in the final. But we move. I'm very good, thank you, Andrew. Philip has left me alone for a short while whilst he heads to Portsmouth.
Robin Byrne takes the opener. 15 darts against Van Leuven. So one action I will never, ever understand is Lorraine Wynn Stanley. It's just across her body. There's no full extension. And yet she's had the success that she has. Not everything is from a textbook. Sharon, God, that's not a result. Why is that on red? Tita Hedman warming up against Terry Kidwell. Robin Bam, what's 110? She's got six starts at it, and if she takes out in six or less, she's still averaging the 100 mark. Doesn't quite go for burn, but you expect her to come back for double eight. As Emma Smith's taken the lead against Cherie Yeoman. Suzanne Smith leads Amy Grant still. Claire Brooklyn to take that opener against Rebecca Hoyland. Adriana Van Vegan and Vermaat currently leads Von Sauan Willis 2 1. On the same board, the next game. Is Aaron Van Vigeren. We've already had an Ashton Derby today. Are we going to get a Van Vigeren Derby also? Surely not. <laughs> you would. Is that three and two for a one year? No, I don't know about this though. Fine, time for a kick out. Take a break. Alan Byrne lost that last leg, and now Van Leuven got six from 170. That's a bit of a slip.
Sarah Roberts takes the first leg against Ros Bormer. Lots of other games just burst into life, including Dieter Hebman, uh, Lorraine Heidi against Vicky Pilgrim, Angela Kirkwood against Maria O'Brien, and Rand Griffiths against Monica Clear. Edman takes the opener. Grant gets one back against Smith. Lorraine with Stanley doubles a lead. Rebecca Hoyland gets one back against Claire Brooking. Fontana and Willis now leads. Adriana Van Vegan and Vermaat. Uh, Joe Moore and Sandra Page have gone all the way. And Van Leuven, uh, as a featured game, is now 2 1 up on Robin Byrne. Nanako Shimuzu, 1-0 up on Rowena Sidley. No Yuki Sakaguchi this weekend. A little bit of a shame. She was 20. Well, I don't know what she was. She might have dropped a little bit now. She's currently 23rd on the race to the match play. Was it Sakaguchi who was told by doctors not to travel? I may have missed that. Potentially. Oh, excuse me. Oh. You know, I said this second event was moving really fast at that point. It seems to have stalled a little bit now. Van Leuven goes three, two up on Robin Byrne. Do any of the Irish women have a chance of reaching the women's world match play? Let's take a peek. Uh, Robin Byrne is currently eighth on the order of merit, and Katie Sheldon is tenth. So, yeah, both of them have a great shout, to be fair. With today, tomorrow, and then another block of four to go. Still six and a half, seven events to go. (laughs) 
What a length this is by Robin Byrne. 140, 180, 99, 82 after nine. We're starting to see that a little bit more from Robin at the minute. Just glimpses of that scoring power back to back. Burn does level up. So we're going all the way here between Van Leuven and Burn. Uh, on the race to the match play, Robin's currently 8th. Noah Lynn Van Leuven is currently 12th. And on the overall order of merit, uh, Burn is 6th and Van Leuven 11th. So in both races, a pretty significant early meeting between this pair. I'm not sure about where Adriana Van Vegan and Vermat is originally from. Well, both Adriana and Aaron are represented by Irish flags in Dark Connect. And Aaron is only Aaron Van Vegan and she's not Van Vegan and Vermat. So I'm not sure if that was changed at marriage potentially. But until Germany last year, I think it was, they weren't names I'd ever come across before. Dieter Hedman now 3 0 up, averaging 70. Sharon Godbeer 3 0 up on Emily Hayes. Sarah Roberts is 2 0 up on Ros Bulmer. Lorraine Hyde 2 0 up on Vicky Pilgrim. It's a 4 0 win for Lorraine Win Stanley. She beats Kat McLean. Uh, Elizabeth Tynan and Silka Lowe warming up. Uh, as is Sarah Milkowski against Aaron Van Vegenen. Rachel Brooks against Jenny Jones. Quinty Beeman against Michelle Andrews. Julianne Birchall against Astrid Traubost. Big 72 finish for Robin Byrne, who beats Noah Lim Van Leuven 4-3. Two early exits there for Noah Lim today, despite reaching the Welsh final last weekend. Next up on PDC TV is Astrid Traubost against Julian Birchall. Ball 10. Who else is on board 10? Is there another game to be streamed on board 10? Hmm. 
No, because we've already seen Rihanna Sullivan, which means we won't see Ethan McCormack against Rihanna Sullivan. They will switch to another board for the last 64. Quite possibly board number three, which will be Tory Kewish against Anne Marie Potts. And the winner of Fallon Sherrick and Roos van der Velta against Robin Byrne. <clears throat> Laura Turner and Rebecca Edwards about to go as well. And Lindsay Ashton, beaten only by her mother in event number five. We'll take on Sharon Stuart's Mark Paul on board number 13. <laughs> uh, not seen McCurry yet. She's later on the lower boards. Board 14. She will take on Almadina Fayado Ayuso on board 14. Uh, next. So what's on that one at the moment? Uh, Dita Hedman has literally just wrapped up a 4-0 win over Terry Kidwell. Uh, so Makura will be on in a few moments' time. Also, the National League playoff final is about to get underway in the UK. They've rolled out a red carpet in front of where the players have lined up so that those doing the handshakes could walk along it. And the players have lined up a yard and a half away from it. They just walked along the front of it. What a waste of time. Uh, Fallon, Sherrick, and Roos van der Velta featured game for you guys. Michelle Andrews takes open against Quinty Beamer around Griffiths, two on up on Monica Clear. Suzanne Smith and Amy Grant go all the way. An old school shirt from Julianne Birchall. Target Pro Tour one. Darts Corner logo printed on the front. I mean, she's taken money off her printing on the back to wear the Darts Corner logo. Genius. Uh, Silka Lowe and Elizabeth Tyne and what a piece. Priscilla Steenberg and takes opener against Jackie Wilkinson. Van der Velt was potentially missed darts to pinch the opener against Fallon on her own throw, but it is Sherrick who goes 1-0 up with a break. Uh, Sarah Roberts has beaten Ros Bulmer 4-1. Lorraine Hyde won away against Vicky Pilgrim, as is Julie Thompson against Jane Biggs. And Nanaka Shimuzu 3-0 up on Marina Sidley.
as Hyde does complete a 4 0 win over Vicky Pilgrim. Sharon Stratzman Paul takes open against Lindsay Ashton. Some scoring on show here from Fallon Sharrock to leave 81 after 9. Angela Kirkwood defeats Maria O'Brien 4-2. 76 average for Maria O'Brien. Again, two early-ish losses for her. Uh, Suzanne Smith 4-3 up on Amy Grant. Cypress Classic. Scott Walters has made the last 16. Good for Scotty. Dirk has won the last leg to solo against Super Mario. Yeah, I didn't need that one notification. We'll, we'll ignore the fact United are one up. Yeah, Suzuki was in earlier, Dan, but she had a stinker of a first round game. Who did she lose to? I want to say Corin. Rihanna, that's it. Rihanna O'Sullivan. She was brilliant. Yeah, so did we. That that was the article that we'd seen from Darts News, but Yeah, it must have been a bad translation. She does tweet in Japanese. So, uh, Nanaka Shimuzu, 4 0 winner over Rowena Sidley. Katie Sheldon, Josie Patterson warming up. Uh, Sarah Mokowski taking the opener against Aaron Van Vigadum. We've got Anne Dorsey throwing up on Jan Robbins. Makura Suzuki takes the opening leg against Almadena Fayado Ayuso. The, the draw doesn't get any nicer for her, by the way. <clears throat> Sharrock is flying, currently averaging 102 and is left to finish after nine darts here. If she takes out in six or less, she will finish with a ton plus average. Sherrick does complete the leg in 14, so she finishes with 104 average. Superb from her in a 4 0 victory over Roos van der Velta.
We'll whack a bit of Lisa Ashton on, I think. Oh, actually, no, let's go Josie versus Katie. Baz will be back soon, don't you worry, we can all laugh at him then. What's he giving this for? Oh yeah, maybe. What is Slocum doing, man? Suzuki tuning up on Fayado Are you sir? We've got Lindsay Ash in the straps and pull back level at two apiece. Uh, Katie Sheldon leads 48 after 15. Good. On the streaming board, Julianne Birch will still lead Astrid Trabos 2-0. Uh, Katie Sheldon takes the open against Josie Patterson. And we've got Rebecca Edwards tuning up on Laura Turner. It's not been a happy day for Laura Turner so far. Three 0 now for Birchall against Trowburst on the stream. That's not the level we're used to seeing from Astrid. Seems to be a little lower than usual. Makuru three 0 to the good. We've got Lisa Ashton one 0 up on Sabrina Youngenotta. Doris Dean beats Shannon Robbins and Michelle Andrews beats Quinty Beeman. As we do that, those couple of 64 games underway, so we're not too far behind on the 1 2 8. A 
has there been any high 90 averages to the NMM series? There's been a few tons so far. I think Bo had one earlier. Fallon's registered one today, 103.6. Nah, nah, I'm not doing that. You don't know enough about me. Michelle Andrews beats Beeman. Henry. <laughs> Virtual beats Charles to four new in the end. Four ten. That was the last one on that board, wasn't it? So we'll see some 64s from elsewhere, we suspect. Lindsay Ashton is out. She made the quarterfinals, losing to Lisa in event five, but she's out in the 128 here, losing to Sharon Stratzma Paul 4 2 in the 128. Laura Turner gets one back against Rebecca Edwards, but still finds herself 3-1 behind. Uh, Amadeno Fayado Ayuso does the same, but she's 3-2 behind to Makura Suzuki. Kiersey Vina Kynan, 1-0 up on Felicia Belay. And Kazilstra leads Zoe Jones, Yvonne Taylor, 2-0 up on Samantha Curtin. Chris Savory is underway against Bo Greaves, our event five winner, our winner of pretty much everything. Such has been Bo's dominance. Josie Patterson levels up with Katie Sheldon. Lisa Ashton restores her lead against Sabrina Young and Nota Amory Potts doubles hers over Tori Kewish. Very Greaves takes the opener against Savory. Uh, 
Elizabeth Tynan of the USA has just built Silk Low for two. And Amadino Fayadu Ayuso has just leveled up with Makuru Suzuki. She's been sat around an awful long time after that first round exit at the hand of Rianne O'Sullivan in event number five. She did lead this one against the Spaniard. But we have a deciding leg on board 14. Reeves doubles her lead. I think Bo should play the Dev Tour. Challenge Tour, you have to go to Q School for that. So obviously that's not a conversation to be had at the moment because she didn't. But Dev Tour, definitely. Josie Patterson from 2 1 behind. Katie Shard now leads 3 2. As Casey Vina Khan and leads Felicia Blay 3 0. Jenny Jones, Rachel Brooks still going at three apiece. A Suzuki from three and up does get over the line for three. She'll be very, very relieved with that one. Brenda Dyer, Deborah Watling go level at two each. Greaves now 3 0 up. As we also have Rihanna Sullivan against Aoife McCormack. What a game that could be. Uh, Shannon Reeves against Corin Hammond. Jacqueline Maiden against Steph Clark. Katie Sheldon in prime position to send us to a decider on the feature game. Bo's been offered the Super Series a couple of times. It was set to play in a week, but withdrew with illness at one point.
Where is the best one on the planet? So efficient. Yeah, at the minute. There must be other undefeated champions out there, but yeah. Make a PDC tournament with men and women pairs. Not a tournament as such, but I could see that as a World Series concept. There's Casey Vinokarnan wraps up a 4-0 win over Felicia Blay. Bo Greaves did complete a 4-0 win over Chris Savory. Lisa Ashton 4-1 over Sabrina Young and Notter. Jenny Jones defeats Rachel Brooks 4-3. Who would I want as my partner in a mixed doubles event? From the current pro ranks, i.e. from the women's series. Um, if it's on TV, I'll take Fallon. She's just been there and done it. I don't think she's afraid of any of the male pros. Uh, other than that, you have to say Bo at the minute, don't you? Her level is ridiculous. No, see, Makura without jet lag, whilst a great shout, and she is incredibly just steady and solid, I think she'd be too slow for me as a partner. I just want someone to get on with it, and she does have an approach to the hockey, and it's not the first versus three darts. I want to get into a rhythm if I'm playing pairs, and I don't think being paired with Makura allows you to do that. Very clever. Next up on the stream will be Dieter against Mikuru. Pairs is always slow, but I still think that if you get a reasonable enough partner and one of theirs is quick enough, you can build up some sort of rhythm. And I feel like Makuru, of the players you've really got an option for here, it's just that little bit more methodical and a little bit more hesitant in the middle of a visit
want a dark player who shows some emotions. Not sure which women's dark player that is. Um, potentially, but that would be my role to bring it. Look, whoever we pick at this stage is going to be a better dark player than I am. So I'm just there to get fired up and shout at people. Brenda Dyer is a winner for two. Jacqueline Maiden, two one up on Steph Clark. See, we're slapped back three one up on Courtney Hine. Corin Hammond is your feature right now. Two nil up on Shannon Reeves. There's so many new games just jumped into life here. Donna Gleed against Amy Evans, Robin Byrne against Fallon Sherrick, and Chilton against Marlene Badger, Stephanie Potter against Priscilla Steenberg, and Wendy Reinstattler has taken the opener against Natalie Gilbert. Eleanor Cairns uh, is underway against Sandra Page. Chrissy Manley against Kirsty Hutchinson. Kim Holden is one up on Kirsty Chubb. That's your streaming game. Because on that very same board will be Dieter Hedman against Mikuro Suzuki up next. Is that the level of assessment we're going for? Lisa played better with dark hair. <laughs> She's too nice as a blonde. Well, blondes do have more fun, apparently. So, uh, Hammond goes 3 0 up on Reeves. Alan Cairns takes open against Sandra Page. Sherrick won the up on Robin Byrne. Uh, no, Bo's not still undefeated. She lost one of the last four, I think. Or was it the block before? But no, she's not. <sighs> I'm definitely not shaving my head. Noble leg between Mokowski and Aaron Van Vigenen. Oh yeah, look, Bo's been ridiculously good, but she's she's not won every single one she's played in since her return. I need a cookie.
Who did us play? Come on, pretty steady. Dry cookie, yeah. Also, I'm not getting into identity politics in the middle of this. <laughs> no chance. What I'm going to do is offer you this game to Belting semi final at home. And it's currently on a piece here. Make that 2 1. <clears throat> We still have a one two eight game playing. Steph Clark beats Jacqueline Maiden 4 2. As Fallon puts on the afterburners to leave tops after 12. Streaming board win for Kim Holden. Jane Robson has taken the opener against Anastasia de Bromislova. Angela Kirkwood leads Elizabeth Tynan 2 0. It's 3 0 lead for Donna Gleed over the youngster Amy Evans. Uh, Anne Chilton 2 0 up on Marlene Badger. Priscilla Steenberg and 3 0 up on Stephanie Potter. Natalie Gilbert leads Wendy Bryan Statler 2 1. Helena Cairns is 3 0 up on Sandra Page. Kirsty Hutchinson 2 1 to the good on up against Chrissy Manley. Uh, it's still three apiece between Sarah Murkowski and Aaron Van Vigler. Both players are now on a finish in the early 110s. Um, a few more darts to come in that one, I suspect. Cairns is now a 4-0 winner and Steenberg and converts that 3-0 to 4-0 over Stephanie Potter. Michelle Andrews takes over against Ryan Griffiths. 
Uh, Aileen de Graff is about to play her last 64 game, as is Sharon Stratzman Paul and Dieter Hedman against Makura Suzuki it will be streamed in a moment, I believe. Do I think 13 weeks is too long between finals night or modus? No, because then you get four a year. Don't forget you've got to fund that. And you get a weekly winner into the format that already plays. Um, not automatically return for next Champions Week, but I do think they should be given... an early chance in the next phase. And if they fail to book their spot back again, I think they should be one of the players that will get a double up attempt. Highest ranked woman I paired with from USA was ranked fifth, Ledro Gannon. Interesting. Four, one win for Fallon in the end. <sighs> Nakura versus Dita, and it will be on the stream. Yeah, I don't know the PDC's ruling on trans participants. But I could tell you that there are a couple. Anastasia in a bit of trouble then. 2 0 down to Jane Robson. Kirsty Hutchinson 3 2 up on Chrissy Manley. Michelle Andrews, tune up Omrian Griffiths. We have a winner. Sarah Milkowski beats Aaron Van Vegelen 
Uh, Natalie Gilbert beats Wendy Ryan Statler 4 2. Patricia Wright or Trish Wright 2 0 up on Natalie Davy. I don't want to look at that anymore. Makura and Dita warming up. Hopefully that means they're currently pulling off. Or at least very, very close to. And we can have some pictures soon. Why is that doing that? The banner is gone. Yes, get on with it. If Jane Robson goes 3 0 up on Anastasia. Milkowski's showing as warming up straight away on board 15. So a quick turnaround, hopefully, for that one. Uh, Cherie Yeoman to get Rebecca Edwards and Bo Greaves. Uh, last 32 game about to get underway. We've literally just finished the last one to eight game. We're starting at 32. Sheldon, 2 0 up on Suzanne Smith. Trisha right now, 3 0 up on Natalie Davy. Trina Gulliver's underway against Denise Cassidy. Fontana and Willis against Sarah Mokowski straight on. So good job by the PDC turning that one around quickly. And Jane Robson completes a 4 0 win over Anastasia de Bromislova. We'll go with Bo's game against Priscilla Steenbergen rather than Fallon over Amory Potts because we watched Fallon against Robin Byrne a moment ago. Tough for De Bromers though if she can't make the left yet. Completely agree. However, there are more avenues now. So, all events this year. 
and the ABC have a women's section. Obviously, counties available. Uh, some do, some don't. D2B uh, depends which event. So the big finals will have a streaming board. Uh, I believe some of the finals nights are going to be, or there's a link with the Moda Super Series. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the cameras are a bit more secure than they were at the PDC swimming series today. I agree, it was one up then after a 15 dart leg and has opened the second here with a maximum. Katie Sheldon, a 4 0 winner over Suzanne Smith. Who won the first event? Bo Greaves won the first event, defeating Fallon Sherrick in the final. They would meet in the quarterfinals this time around, as they're on board to number one and three. So all we've got 52 likes come on folks press that like button for us if you haven't done so already yeah i've seen ireland have introduced adc events colin mcgarry has been doing absolute bits in one of those the chief And Chilton has beaten Marley and Badger for two. Lorraine Hyde, Kirsty Munikan and underway. Denise Cassidy trails Trina Gulliver 1 0. Sheree Yeomans 1 0 up on Rebecca Edwards. Von Salmon Willis, Sarah Milkowski won a piece already, moving a bit quicker than Milkowski's last game. Uh, Lorraine Wynn Stanley in trouble, 3 0 down to Julianne Birchnell. Nakura Suzuki 2 0 up on Dieter Hedman on the streaming board. Agree. motoring now 3-0 up on Priscilla Steenberg and elsewhere Amory Potts 
Pinchelo back against Fallon Sherrick. Ellie Graf 3 2 up on Andorracine. Sterling scored again. Excellor is telling stories in the chat room. I like it. Will the ADC be the death of the WDF? I expect so. The only difficulty with that is the WDF are a governing body. Sherrick, 2 1 up on parts. Mina Kaino, 15 dark legs are open against Lorraine Hyde. Ellen McGrath beats Anne Dorsey in 4-2. And Trisha Wright beats Natalie Davey 4-2. Steen Bergen's got three in hand at double 12 to get a leg against Bo Greaves. Doesn't go, and that might well be the last start she throws for the day. On time, Willis double, uh, moves into lead against Milkowski. 2-1 up now. As Greaves slips. And Steenbergen does put a leg up on the board. Uh, Fallon Sherrick also moves 3-1 ahead of Anne-Marie Potts. Hopefully, Phil will be back to join us shortly. <clears throat> As Makura Suzuki does complete a 4 0 whitewash win over Dieter Hedman. Angela Kirkwood, 4-3 winner over Elizabeth Tyne. And we've got another 32-game warming up. Good. Uh, Sylvia Schlappback against Michelle Andrews. Katie Sheldon, Donna Gleed is the last 32-game. They are live now. Agrees four minute over Priscilla Steenberg and Fallon Sherrick four minute over Anne Marie Potts. Those two remain on a collision course to meet in the last eight. One more win for each of those. We'll see that happen. Cassidy Gulliver to a piece. Jones Roberts to a piece.
side gets one back against me and I kind of want a piece. Fallon averaged 81 Zinjex. Zinjex. Uh, next game on the stream board will be Corin Hammond against Alien de Graf. We need a new streaming game, don't we? It showed enough on that one. Or should we go to Rain Hyde, Kiersey, Vina Kine, and one piece? Let's go with that one. Move in two sets, folks. There we go. Trini Gulliver, three to up underneath Cassidy. That'll put her in the last 32. Edwards 3 2 up on Cherie Yeomans. Fonsal and Willis 1 away against Sarah Milkowski. Sarah Roberts 3 2 up on Jenny Jones. We've got Samantha Curtin 2 0 up on Anako Shimuzu. 
Steph Clark against Claire Brook in the last 32 warming up, as is Aileen DeGraff and Corinne Hammond. She can cook, yeah. Will we cook tonight? Probably not. Long term, maybe, but at the minute, no. Uh, Katie Sheldon, two up on Donnick Gleed. Slap back leads Michelle Andrews. Judy Thompson takes open against Anka Zilstra. Despite the best efforts of the PDC now, we are going to be at that point where a couple of players are waiting around. They are Fallon, Sherrick and Bert Greaves. They're already in the last 16. We still have multiple last 64 games going on. We've got 32 games to play after that, and then we'll get to 16s. Rebecca Edwards will play last 32 games. She's a 4-2 winner. Katie Sheldon is, yeah. He is 3 1 up as well. Uh, Claire Brooken takes over against Steph Clark. Yeah, she's got a solid base for an action. Um, clearly got the drive for it, has, has got a fair bit of back in as part of that target program, or was. She's got her own dart, she's got her own style. I don't think she's scared of anyone. We saw her at the match play. Um, yeah, she's got a long time in this game, I think. She's been going to the Dev Tour events.
did she go to Q school? That I can't remember. I know a few did. Jenny Jones is a 4 3 winner over Sarah Roberts. Paylin the Graf races into a 1 0 lead over Corin Hammond. 13 dark leg. I don't think so, Bob. Separate dev tour, not for me. That's what you've got WF girls events for and JDC and, and whatever. No. Mina Khan and Hyde, three apiece then. And with the darts, Mina Khan has gone back to back tons. Makura Suzuki about to get underway against Kim Holden. And Angela Kirkwood against Lisa Ashton. As Rebecca Edwards, Natalie Gilbert, Claire Brookings, Steph Clark, all last 32 games. <laughs> Willis and Mikowski now three apiece. Not really Excalibur. The one that's still pretty impressed with is uh, Almandina Fayado Ayuso of Spain. Um, other than that, it's the usual suspects. Pretty steady. Kirsty Hutchinson's had a slightly better day today. Uh, feels like that's at the expense of Laura Turner, who hasn't been as great. Vina Kynan does beat Lorraine Hyde. It's 13 tart leg in the decider to progress solid from the fin. Uh, we'll have a bit of Makura Suzuki against Kim Holden. As the graph goes 2 0 up on Hammond on the streaming board. Rano Sullivan will take on Julianne Birchall shortly. Uh, 
Anna Cairns will take on Jenny Jones as McCurdy goes 1 0 up. Hammond gets one back against the graph. Donna Gleed beats Katie Sheldon four three. We did have a result as well. Sarah Mikowski beat Fonsal and Willis. She'll now play Trina Gulliver. Uh, I'm not sure they're being played faster. Um, the Sarah Mikowski game, the opening round, took forever. So they just ushered her to go back on pretty quickly. Uh, the other thing they've been doing this morning as well, even before the stoppage in the final, is that um, in the opening round, any board which has four matches, quite a few have got buys, uh, only three matches. They've played two games at once, so they've actually got 24 boards, match boards available this weekend, uh, despite the bracket. Uh, so they do have that option to just chuck a few others on, get them done early, try to get the same point. Obviously, it's not quite worked here. Got Fallon and Bo sat around for what feels like forever. Uh, Donna Gleed's in the complete opposite half of the draw, and she's now going to be waiting around as well. So, Uh, Brenda Dyer is a 4 0 win over Sharon Godbeer, and Samantha Curtin uh, knocks out Nanaku Shimuzu 4 1. My pleasure, Bob. Thirty two game warming up between Jenny Jones and Eleanor Cairns. On to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Must be between a couple right now. And the graph moves three one on Corin Hammond. Angela Kirkwood, two nil up on Lisa Ashton. Now this is something we just did not see happening a couple of years ago. Lisa Ashton has been dominant on the women's series, but her decline without the fact it's been challenged by Bo Greaves, seems to have come at the same time. We find her 2-0 down to Angela Kirkwood, averaging at just 63. It was more last series, hoping to get news, some new ladies above it. Um, Kiersey Vinakine has been pretty steady. Kim Holden again. Uh, Almadina Fayado again. Um, Cassie Hutchinson's level seems to have just crept up a little bit. Um, Robin Byrne, we've seen glimpses of her scoring power again. It's just her putting it together for a complete performance. I think 
without knowing her, from glimpses of what we've seen from Robin and just how good she can be, Robin strikes me as the sort of player that will be aware of how well she's playing in the middle of a match. And that might start to affect her a little bit. Uh, uh, what that will look like as stats or numbers on a page after the game. Uh, result for you, Corin Hammond is out at the hands of Eileen de Graff. Just filled our still leader one now. I'm gonna need more than a bloody cookie at this rate. Claire Brooklyn beats Steph Clark. The Saints actually down. Oh, man, you know, I just scored a fuck off. One win for Makuru Suzuki over Kim Holden. That last day too. So Kim doesn't gain that much there players either. Start of the day pretty handily placed in the order of merit. And it's gonna have to be this one. Uh, Phil will be on commentary tonight for the finals with uh, Matthew Edgar. I believe Henry is hosting. Uh, Paul Nicholson, I believe, is on the Euro Tour. Chris Mason has a week off. Chris Murphy is at the Women's Series. Uh, so it's Bars and Edgar just for the day. should be here shortly 
jumping back on for a short time. Uh, Michelle Andrews is a 4 3 winner over Sylvia Schlappbach. We're still missing a couple of games though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, two is under me, three is fine, four, five, six, seven, board eight. Two's on board eight. Jane Robson and Brenda Dyer. That hasn't started yet and it's not warming up either. Board nine, Lisa Ashton is out. She loses 4 1 to Angela Kirkwood. Board 10 is in play, 11, cool. 12. That's the other one. Who's on 12? Patricia Wright and Anka Zilstra. Donovan takes the opener. Eleanor Cairns, 3-0 up on Jenny Jones. Uh, Vina Kine and Hutchinson underway. Chilton Curtin, so we are still waiting on those other two boards. Depends who's available, Excalibur. Obviously, players have holidays and other commitments. Pro Tours, Euro Tours. Oh, has that not gone in? Uh, Natalie Gilbert beats Rebecca Edwards 4-1. I can see Jane Robson and Brenda Dyer warming up. So we're just waiting on is it Zilstra. Saints are down. On the upside, though, three years of parachute payments and about 50 million for James Ward Prowl should soften the blow.
It's not been all conquering Trina Gulliver so far, but she's just doing enough here in leg two again, finding a big score when it matters. And taking a 2 0 lead. Fisher Wright and Anka Zilstra are now warming up as well. And again, Gulliver finds herself behind in leg three. As I keep saying, she just keeps finding the big visit when she needs it. But trail significantly here in leg number three. Right and Zilstra underway. Robson and Dyer still not. Looks like a bad 80s cop drama, that. As Elena Cairns wraps up a 4 1 win over Jenny Jones. Got to have a three no up now. And with the darts here in leg number four. Zilstra takes the opener against right. Vina Kine is still two up on Hutchinson. Looks like they might hold the last 16 to all start at the same time from here. As we tip past 5 p.m., seven hours already. Greetings. Hello. How are we doing? Not bad. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. What have I missed? Not a lot, really. It's been a bit slow. Has it? Yeah. Lisa's out. Didn't play great. That's a surprise. Yeah, mid-60s, lost 4-1. Who to? Angela Kirkwood. 
my memory serves me correctly, didn't she beat Fallon in one as well? Potentially. That just rings a bell. I might be completely off with that. It just rings something. Just getting myself all set up as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you got a couple of moments anyway, because as soon as Gulliver wraps up this one, I'll probably whack a cheeky little ad break on. Cool. Oi, you asked about my girlfriend, not me. Keep my private life that. <laughs> um, both funny both very funny in their own ways I love how dry Murph is yeah that's what I mean they're, they're both really they're, they're both really funny but yeah. in completely different ways Uh, Kirkwood beat Win Stanley and Sherrick in Women's Series 2. Thank yeah, you. I said, I said it rung a bell. Oh, I got that completely wrong. Uh, Fallon and Bow still on collision course. Yes. As in, I don't yes, think you've since you left, but yes. Yeah, as in, yes, very much so. Yeah. Uh, Fallon plays Natalie Gilbert next. Uh, I will play the winner of Ann Chilton and Sam Curtin. Um, they both win those. They will meet in the last eight. Uh, that is a 4 0 win for Trina Gulliver. So we're going to run a quick little ad break. Uh, we'll be back on the other side of this one. And we're back. How about them? Two women's series live. If you don't have the Play the Pro app, by the way, and you do have an iPhone user, it's not available on Android as yet, but it's been worked on, do go and check it out. Some really interesting game modes in there. I think it's very good. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm a I'm a I'm a big fan. I've beaten Nicholson and Webby on there, but don't let them know too loudly, will ya? Don't worry, I'll tell them.
I won't say who I spoke to, but I spoke to someone in Milton Keynes, and apparently the state of that camera was hilarious. Mm -hmm. Was not good. <clears throat> no. They're not cheap either. <laughs> Uh, no. But I guess they'll have insurance and that kind. Yeah. Um, uh, MVG was really impressed with the Super Series setup. Who wouldn't be? I just had the dreaded your disk space is nearly full. I'm just creating some room on me. It's all that porn you got saved. That's what the iPad's for. Bigger screen. <laughs> What is that noise? Like you've been in stuff on your laptop. Yeah. Talon does lead one nil against Natalie Gilbert. Then Eleanor Cairns is taking everything against Aileen de Graff. And Kazilstra 3 0 up on Patricia Wright, not hanging around in that one. Uh, Jane Robson 1 0 up against Brenda Dyer. I love how Fallon's warming up and playing. Magic. She's clever. Yeah, she is clever. Oh. By the way, I went to the shop to get a, a, a can of Monster, and they hadn't seen these before. Mint Twirls. They're new this week. I was like, oh, hello. I saw them advertised, but um, I've not stumbled across one yet. That's the first time I'd seen it. I was like, ooh. I went looking earlier. Let's see. With the lights of Pompey, we get mint 12s. Delight to stretch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Edgar hasn't made it. We're not big enough for Edgar. He's big time, he is. He'll be here in a minute. Gilbert gets one back against Sherrod. The graph from 1-0 down goes 2-1 up on Cairns.
Tazinki wants eight for to restore her lead, and it goes. Three breaks in a row. Golden Girl on the stream. Did Fallon have a bit of a stinker that late? Because the average was decent, and now it's one all with an average of about 18 points off of it. Went from 93, which was a 16, to drop massively. So, yeah, probably 20-something dart leg that she lost. Oops. Back in the lead now, though. 2-1 up. The graph, one away against Eleanor Cairns. Twenty-six star. Come sit next to me. Yes. What are you yesing about? County are just equalised. Can't be long left, or is it a late kickoff? Four minutes left. Half three kickoff instead of three. Uh, okay. The BT scheduling of having the early kickoff. And I'm needing some. It's been such a crap game. The keeper was crap for the first five minutes, pissing around. Everybody spent more time on the floor than they have playing football. Ref's been shoddy in consistency with what he's called as a foul and what not. And... But other than that, it was all right, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gone straight through him. <laughs> Who are Kang playing in the final? Chesterfield. Oh. I see you did you did tell me earlier, but I'd forgotten. Yeah. Oh, I've just realised what's going on as well. <laughs> Did you see uh, the winner in the playoff semi? Yes. That's gone like straight through the keeper. Yeah. This one, bottom right and uh, left at wing, Bostock mm. swat a free kick in. It's like dip just in front of the near post and it's gone underneath the keeper. Who's got hands to it? Ouch. Yeah. It all makes it worse. Keeper's an ex-Nots boy. Oh. Yeah, that'll hurt. Mm -hmm. Not knocking it. Come on, then. What challenge that is. That's never a penalty. Get up. Neither was that.
23 points between the two teams in the league table and the top rank one might go out. The Woolies. Joke. Yeah, it's not... You need to watch. Can't play that one because that's live. That's just finished. Sherrick beats Natalie Gilbert 4 1. Rihanna Sullivan, Angela Kirk. What it is then? Not on last season when Forest in the Championship, Steve Cooper was doing the job that he was doing and the big turnaround they had. I was backing him quite a bit, but this season, the first thing that like, I got loads of friends that are Forest fans now, obviously living in Nottingham, played with a football team and whatever else. The first thing they did was come in and start taking a pop back at my team. I'm like, fuck off. I can, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Sat there backing you up, watching you play off final with you or supporting you through it. And you walk up and go, Oh, yeah, well, we ain't Liverpool. Oh, Jody Jones, what have you done that for, you silly twat? The bit I'm not a fan on is that, look, Steve Cooper did a great job to get them up. And that they've been competitive in the Premier League, even if they were to go down. But the clamouring for him to be sacked, it's like, can we get some reality and some really? perspective? on what clubs are, and just coming up, it's tough to stay up. Yeah. Uh, the media screwed them over completely as well, because it was like, oh, you can't bring in this many players and stay up. Didn't have a choice. 13 yeah, of that club that got yeah. promoted were lone players that went back to parent clubs. Yeah. And then half the players they bought in in the first batch got injured, so they had to bring more in at Christmas. Like, just stupid. Don't get get on, going, oh yeah, you can't bring in 12 new players and expect to stay up. Don't get me wrong, there, there was a couple of questionable signings in there. But there's a mix, isn't there, of building for the future, big names that have been there and done it, i.e. a Lingard, hoping that his experience will get you there. And, and the, that, that was the balance, wasn't it? It was... Players that are going to be in this squad for the next couple of years if we manage to stay up, or that are flexible enough that if we go back down, we keep them with us. A few big name signings to try and help us keep there and a bit of experience. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I just look at the. I, I don't think the Lingard was never a good fit, and Sergio is shit. That's why. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Real Madrid twenty for a three-one lead. Did they do the same? As in, they got rid of the backlog early again. Uh, attempted to, yeah. Yeah. And then we had a couple of games just hold us up completely. Fares. Oh, it is a potentially massive point for Forrest today. I'm going to have to duck off again shortly for a production meeting. Mm. <laughs> At least I came back to keep you company for a bit. Not sure about that. <laughs> I 
Also, we're online darts. We don't do production meetings. Just wing it. As in, yeah, the Super Series, we have to. Yeah, we'll learn from it. Bring it, bring it into this organisation. Where is Bova Samantha Curtain? Oh, there it is. One nil now. Mm. There it is. Oh, I've just seen the count equaliser. Yeah. <laughs> that alert fits as well because he's a nice lad, but. Yeah, I don't make them decisions, Bob. Maybe one day, though. Maybe I'll get a crack at commentary. Who knows? The golden goal, 3 nil up and looking in control as Vina Kynan, just looking as if she's struggling a little bit here on the stream. Frustration etched all across her face. She's been much better than this today, so you can yeah. understand oh, yeah. that. Yeah, in, in the first one, she was she played some really good stuff. Jane Robson still three top on Brenda Dyer. That's going to be the one holding us up today. Or eight. Who will they play? Michelle Andrews as well. So, bit of a slow section. Yes. Rihanna Sullivan to complete victory. And it goes. So, I'm no brain surgeon, but I'm guessing Bowen Fallon will be streamed. You'd expect so from here. A wide range of tones. and Who's a Paul? Paul who? You've done me in there. <laughs> uh, the golden goal also seals victory on the stream pins double four to seal a four nil whitewash at least that other one's finished that's all the last 32 mate, games no, no. No. Yeah, but that's still a 16 game to play. Now, would they play all the last eights at the same time? Or 
How are they going to get the others moving and hope that this one doesn't take too long? I don't know. Ooh. On the correct account now, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's the magic number she needs, right? What's the win? Two grand. Still a fair yeah. way to go yet, mate. Still six events left. There is. If by the end of tomorrow she is over three thousand pounds ahead of ninth, book your hotel. Yeah, with four events to go, someone would have to go win, runner up, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, multiple times. Yeah, uh, let's put on the thing. Bo versus Fallon next. Yeah. The fact they've put that up, I don't think they're going to hang around. No. Oh, thanks. Um, I'd actually be quite happy if we're not in that stu like, if we're in the Europa League we're in the Europa League but I don't want to be in that conference league I'd rather have nothing yeah I, I agree David um, Vinna Karnin does look she's been a, been a good fine gob yes I'm very very happy yeah absolutely all right good addition Yeah, that can't be denied as a factor. He upset a lot of challenge tour players, though. It was announced first. It's gone up on the challenge tour as well now, isn't it? Yeah, but it, no, what's the challenge tour? Is it two or 250? Two or two fifty what? For winning the challenge tour. Is it two thousand or two thousand and fifty? Two grand, I think. So that's the same as the women's, isn't it? Yeah, but it wasn't, is the point. It's gone well, up. Yeah, but, but that's what I mean. There was a lot of challenge tour players, whether they'd say it publicly or not, is another yeah. thing, were very pissed off. Yeah. And it was more to the point of in relation to the number of players playing, does that make sense? That the Challenge Tour is 50 quid entry and brings in a bucket load more entries, yet the money's the same? Yeah. I see it, but the Challenge Tour also doesn't receive the attention or the sponsorship that The women's series does. You say that, though. The women's series hasn't got a sponsor. No, but it's more commercially viable to the PDC than the 
Oh, that I get, but as an asset, you... and breeding ground, and whatever else. But the money generated by the challenge tour is astronomical for the PDC in relation. Uh, Lee, I like Aberdeen. Pataudry's a great stadium. Full of character. I love it. What are you effing about now? Well, a two on behind, and every time Jody Jones gets beaten, he just pulls or shoves someone to the floor. What, can't you two on behind? Yeah. I mean, every single little touch, Chesterfield are on the deck, but... Is this extra time or added time? Extra time. They scored the third minute in. Looks like they're holding them at this rate, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought they, they maybe have just got on with it, but they're not. I guess the concern is that these games take too long, so... Yeah. Zilstra 2 1 up on Donna Gleed then. Yeah, but. That, that's the argument. The Challenge Tour doesn't give you access. For, for the number of players playing on it and investing in it, the access to the top is very small. And that's their argument. The, the Challenge Tour is established enough now that there should be more on offer to get onto the Pro Tour than just the two spaces available, Bob. Yeah. Isn't it? That, 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 that's the argument. that a lot of these players are playing on the Challenge Tour because they want to go and do it. But instead, you go to Q School and you're based on a four-day lottery instead of a 12-month ranking system. No one wants that. How did, um, obviously she's out, but how did Ether McCormack go after her run in the first one? Mm, not memorable.
Who you play? Rianne Beater. Thanks, Pete. No problem. We're back again. <laughs> Bro Brom's just coming in to switch on. Our wonderful players, Marshall, for the day. We're on streaming across the world. Come, come and say hello. <laughs> Um, right, where are we? Yeah, Bowman Pierce dominating. Yeah. Um, this is 15 rings. I, I I agree that I'm not sure the, the support is there player wise that the, the standard is good I'm still not sure financially it makes sense for these players at the top level as well in the pro tour because there, there's still players going there and not making any money yeah is is the issue um I was chatting to, to David Evans. We've got an interview dropping probably Monday by the time I get it edited. Um, and he talks on that there should be two different contracts, 64 and up and 65 to 128, to yeah. be allowed to go and play in other things. And A lot of players are saying it now. It's hard to disagree. If the PDC cannot financially support down to the 128, then they either have to relinquish some control of that or cut the size of their tour. Um, I don't mean this horribly, but the how can I put this without upsetting people? Within certain aspects, the PD, the PDPA don't do the job they're supposed to. In certain things, they do great work, but in other bits, they don't. Would that be a fair assessment? Yeah. And ultimately, the PDC will still do what they want. Pretty much. It's their product. And that's a problem to them. It's, it's a product, it's not a sport. It is their job, but ultimately they're paid by the PDC because without the levy off the players' prize money, they wouldn't be funded. Well, is it we have Bo versus Fallon warming up, whether that means they actually are or whether that just means... Andrew Davies has been tasked with setting the iPad up as a different matter. Yeah, look, the, the, the PDPA do... Oh, we're, we've got pictures on the stream. Look, the PDPA do some great work in areas, but in, in other areas, they're, they're not strong enough and don't stand up enough. The, the players are, but that money comes from the PDC. Because although they take the is it one percent levy off the players' prize money, ultimately that prize money comes from the PDC. So it's the PDC funding it, just in a in a different manner of getting it to them. Yes, Dan, you know rule number one. You know how it works.
And I suppose the other one is, would you prefer 1% of Richie Burnett's money or 1% of Gerwin Price's money? Doesn't matter though, because I get 1% of everyone's money. Yeah, but if, my point, Richie Burnett was a bad example, but some, I mean, some players aren't earning money. If a player if one, if a player loses their first round game of every pro tour, that's 1% of nothing. Yeah, but they're still getting 1% of the collective total prize money available on the PDC for the entire year. So they, they should are, be there to represent one, everybody. Yeah, but you, but we know they're not. I appreciate that somebody earning nothing isn't paying a 1% levy on their prize money. But that's where they need to step in. Because if there's generally somebody who isn't contributing towards a PDPA, then something is failing. Well, it's been failing for years. Their job is to protect the welfare of the players. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. We, we know they're not. Yeah, but justifying it is over they're not earning it to take our one percent isn't right because then they should be doing something about that. Two percent. Fallon misses four darts for one nil and pays the price. And the, flip the coin as well. I'm not just going to bash the PDPA as well, but the players don't really give a, about the PDPA anyway. A few years ago, when the players' contract was up for renewal, or there were some changes being made, it was the higher profile players that got their lawyers involved and got the contracts sorted, not the PDPA. Just no trust then and it needs an overhaul, doesn't it? It needs someone else to step up and take charge or do something about it. You can't just keep meandering along and going, well, I never do anything. It works. It's the same as any politics. It goes both ways. Yeah, I, I, I just know the fact with the, with the players one, the contracts, yeah. when there was a lot of issues with it, the it whole, was, I'm not voting. It doesn't make a difference. Approach doesn't wash. Yeah, if it, you don't, and then you get stuck with something you don't like, it's on you anyway. Yeah, it, it, it was it was the bigger players that got their their lawyers involved in it and got it sorted. The level game then, but it's gone low. That's two darts, a double eight for Bo Greaves for two nil. Fallon's missed eight darts at a double in two legs. She should be two nil up. Normally, the finishing is the strong point of her game, God, but today it's deserted her. In these matches, it has, yeah. Afternoon, Sean. Sure. How are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah, that's um. That's now naught from eight on the outer ring for Fallon. I think it's nine, isn't it? It was five in the first leg. Thought it was four.
Yeah, agreed, David. Normally, it's to finish in that's been immaculate. I can hear her. I can hear an Edgar. Not sure that's a good thing. Here he is. Oh, we're live. We are live. I'm saying Fallon's timing has gone awry here. She's 2 0 down, not from 8 on the outer ring. Should be 2 0 up. Bo. Not, not from eight. Yeah, you're not going to get away with it. No, that's, yeah, exactly that. <laughs> that's what we've just said. Uh, it's now 3 0. Yeah, she's, to be fair, uh, Bo bossed that one. But... What's a housebreak of a laptop? Yeah, it's um, the current one because I obviously. Oh, yeah, I remember you said the problems with the, the one from Iceland, which got lost. Yeah. So. I'll go with this one for now. Cool, you know, you know, you know that's a good one, but it's got a CD drive on it. Yes. Oh, proper old school. At least I can play championship. Than me. Yeah. Probably the best championship manager ever. I liked um, 0001 as well. Yes. Yeah, that was good. Was it 0102 season? Yeah, when Ronaldinho was still at PSG, you could go and pick him up for about 5 million, and then John Terry was a teenager. Yeah. Ricardo Charisma, you'd get him on a free transfer and turn him into a hundred million pound player. Remember Freddie Adu. Yeah. Always a wonder kid. Yeah, yeah. Um, who have I got winning the check dart open this week? Um I went for Luke Humphreys, but it's a bit of a bit of a lottery. Joshua Rock for me. That must be up and running again soon. Um, yeah. Have they tweeted the graphic yet? <laughs> Fallon gets a break back and is on the board. 3-1. Inside, she will be kicking herself. Yes. Yes! Can he equalise? Yes. Which is rather annoying, because obviously the way that I watch is not quite in time with the notifications I get. But yes! <laughs> Trina Gulliver, 2-1 up on Makura Suzuki, by the way. Bo Grew's now 4-1 up on Fallon. Reminder, these are races to 5 in the quarterfinals. Uh, Jane Robson now three top of Michelle. How is the last 16 game going on with an average in 54 and 56? This just calls for the seeding element that we said, that there needs to be some bits in there now. Come on, that's class. Rodriguez!
problem with drafts anywhere outside of the US Excalibur is the um, employment laws are completely different. The only reason that there is a draft in the 100 cricket as opposed to anything else is actually all of the teams are owned and centrally managed at the heart by the ECB. So it is just one employer. So at that point, they can tell them who to play for in a franchise owned situation where they're contracted to specific teams in the US and the NFL and the, the NBA, etc. You couldn't do that in the UK. I think it goes against the restriction of trade clause or something. Right, Bo Greaves has beaten Fallon Sherrick 5-1. Fallon losing twice today to Bo in both of those. Uh, one in the final earlier on and now in the quarter final this time. Um, we we'll wait to find her opponent. It will either be... Right, go I've got to drop off because we've got a production meeting in a sec. Okay. See you in a bit. Bye. Yeah, so Bo now got a bit of a wait again. Um, her opponent will be either Alien de Graff or the winner of Michelle Andrews and Jane Robson. So we need that one too. Budge along just a little bit. Uh, Mikuro Suzuki, Trina Gullo are currently two apiece. The winner of that one will play the winner of Rihanna Sullivan and Anka Zilcha, which has just started. Of a wait then. Uh, Rihanna Sullivan takes open that against Anka Zilstra. Robson and Andrews. Let's ping that one up on another screen and see if we can find out if we're any closer to a result. Uh, Robson wants 20. Michelle Andrews wants double two though to force us to a decider. Doesn't go. So double 10, three in hand for Jane Robson to seal a quarter final spot here in Women's Series 6. That's a great challenge, referee. Taking the piss. And she splits inside. Michelle Andrews, double two. And that goes in three, so we're going all the way. Oh, fantasy, yeah. Uh, there's a difference between fantasy and draft, isn't there? Because you said anybody enjoy the NFL draft. Um, PDC do have a fantasy game. They use it for the World Championships last year. Um, lasted three different rounds, I think it was, to fit your players. I just think it's that much more difficult in individual.
Katrina Gulliver goes 4-2 up on Makura Suzuki. She's just one away from a spot in the semi-finals. I'll be breaking the trend just a little bit. Makuru has been the standout player since Blackpool last year that isn't named Bo Greaves. Uh, Michelle Andrews has beaten Jane Robson 4-3 from 3-2 down. So she will now play Aileen de Graff. Trina Gulliver has six darts from 176 minimum. She tees up 81. She'll get a poke at it. Makura back on 107. She's still probably favourite if this doesn't go. Makura now needs the 107 to stay alive. Gulliver has left 36. And that doesn't go. So three in hand at double 18. For Trina Gulliver to defeat Makura Suzuki and book her spot in the semi final. And the Golden Girl is a semi finalist in event number six. She will take on either Rihanna O'Sullivan or Anka Zilstra. Rihanna O'Sullivan currently 2 0 up in that one. And we're going to bring that to the feature game. Make that 3 0 up. And Graf vs. Andrews is warming up. So if you're in position to break back, unless O'Sullivan takes this one, two, six. Oh, wow, which she does. Well, 
one-way traffic in this one in favour of the Welsh woman. Advantage Silstra in leg five. Still plodding along. I mean, the 126 went last time. So if 96 doesn't go for Anchor Zilstra. You don't want to be giving Rihanna O'Sullivan chances at these, especially when you leave double 19. Elliot de Graff takes the opener against Michelle Andrews. As Rihanna Sullivan wraps up a 5 0 victory over Anka Zilstra. So we'll bring that one in there. I'm going to run a quick little ad break though. While well, we've got a moment, I'll be back on the other side of this one. And we're back for the final quarterfinal game. And in the graph, she bust one four two.
2 0 up is Alien the Graph. Three legs away from a semi final against Bo Greaves. It will be Rian O'Sullivan against Trina Gulliver. Plodding along at the minute is Aileen. That won't help either. A score of just... 11. Uh, they are going to stream Ryan O'Sullivan and Trina Gulliver, so that one will be underway shortly. First to a finish is Marcel Andrews. Euro Tour is now live. Reminder once we're done tonight, you've got a choice of that. Uh, the Super Series Week 1 finals night, including Moreno Blom, David Evans, Ryan Palmer, Me and Phil will be back tomorrow. He has no Super Series to contend with, so he will be here all day with myself. As we edge closer towards finding out who will be heading to the Winter Gardens. After tomorrow, there will be just four events left, and they will be in Germany. Yeah, we're back again for tomorrow's Women's Series from 10 a.m. UK time. So that's 3 a.m. Eastern, God knows what time in Australia, 11 a.m. Central Europe. My pleasure, literally. I might have a night away from the darts though. Some misfits boxing, perhaps. 
KSI's getting knocked out tonight. You heard it here first. This is a bit uncharacteristic for Aileen Nagraff. She's normally so steady and so solid. And whilst the big scores are there, the 97 and the 95, it's just too many poor little visits, the 24 to 39, to back it up. And whilst we know that she can beat Bo Greaves, even if she comes through this, the way she's performing right now, not expecting it. However, she does now hit three one. And we are underway between Rihanna Sullivan and Trina Gulliver. Oh, that's annoying. Despite the fact of this stream, obviously it's a final chance. We're going to put that up on screen for you as well. Put a reminder, obviously, it pause. Sync them up if you don't want me to spoil. No, no, so I'm picking up where she's left off today so far. Firing in a maximum to open the match. Zaylin so DeGraff wants 32 for a 4-1 lead over Michelle Andrews. What the has he just done there? 55 then for O'Sullivan for the first leg. Doesn't go, but will return for at least another three. Ugh. 
for the note function. Huge 159 from Aileen. This is more like the leg we're used to seeing her produce, and it should bring her the victory to put her into the semi finals where Bo Greaves awaits. And that's exactly what happens. Aileen de Graff, a 5 1 victor over Michelle Andrews, will take on Bo Greaves for a spot in today's final. O'Sullivan doubles her lead. Scoring crap kind of Sullivan right now. Class. <laughs> Thanks, Jar. <laughs> That's as close as I get to celebrating that. Trini Gulliver banging in the 120 to get back to 2 1. Not it was 5 not against Hosea says now it's 5 4. Oh dear. Still no sign of the second semi finals. So we we'll just keep plodding along with Rianne versus Trina. Round scoring is nothing short of sensational right now.
Danny Knoppert is through on the Euro Tour. Here we go, warming up Bo Greaves against Aileen de Graff, two at once. Somehow, Trina Gulliver is now level at two apiece against Rano Sullivan. She's done all the hard work, all the scoring over and over again. Just keeps letting Trina in at the back end of legs. No. Rano Sullivan. Oh, she's left double 10, but Trina Gulla wants 90 for the lead. Bo Greaves and Arlene de Graff are underway. Bo won the bullseye. Oops. Sullivan pings double 10. First dart in hand. It does lead this 3-2. Hi, Jack. Uh, Bo won the first event. She beat Fallon in the final. this live or am I lagging? Remember, 
character. There is no seeding in the women's series, Charles. That's the issue. It's it's an open draw, so they've avoided each other often enough. The same used to happen with Fallon and Lisa, but Trina favourite to level at three apiece then. 92 coming in for her as Ellen de Graff levels up at 1-1. One, one. I agree, Charles. Look, we've been saying this for a long, long time. There was, for some of it, you have to establish an order of merit or something to be able to seed players. You have to have it based off something for long enough. And now we have rolling order of merit on the women's series. Um with rankings, it's over a sustained period of time now. And actually, the issues that they're currently facing in terms of timings for getting these events done would be solved a little bit by seeding. Unless the seed plays incredibly poorly or is upset in a match, then um, they tend to go to the later rounds, which knocks out or avoids players that are averaging... 50s and 40s against each other in the last 16 and the last eight, etc. TV show and uh, baseball this weekend if you're interested. Oh, for now, we're interested in the fact that Trina Gulliver is in position to break Rihanna O'Sullivan three apiece. She wants a ton and she's busted. The graph got out of this, but 2-1 down to Bo Greaves, who sat on 32 after 12. Does leave a finish, 150, but you expect Bo to go 3-1 up here, as she does. Reno Sullivan, 4-3 up. 
Trina could not push on with that break in the last leg. One four one after twelve for Rihanna Sullivan against the darts. There's one seven one for Trina Gulliver. She needs to put a big dent in this. She can't take it out. Leaves one one four. Oh, and the one four one goes for Rihanna O'Sullivan for a. 5-3 win. And that books her spot in today's final where she will take on either Bo Greaves or Aileen de Graff. Charles says, I'm in an area that's not big with darts and I don't have any windmill, which is what I'm used to. Any suggestions for a good home practice ball? Do you not get one delivered online, Charles? Are you in the UK? States. Um, I don't know what else you have out there. I don't think mission are out there. Got one more node, but I need to start. I'll do. Four to six hours deep every day. Crikey. One, two, one for Bo Greaves and to seal a spot in a final against Rihanna Sullivan. In pretty impressive fashion. 85 average for her. But she's had enough in the tank. And it goes in two Bo Greases into yet another women's series final. She will take on Rianne O'Sullivan shortly. Go on in chat and get your predictions in for the final. Who wins and by what scoreline? Reminder, race to five. It will be Bo Greaves against Rianne O'Sullivan.
Charles says Greaves will win 5 2. Any more predictions? I'll get them up on screen. In fact, what I'll do is I will hit a quick ad break. One last one before we end today, because I want to do one after the final. Um, quick ad break. Get your predictions in the chat room. I'll get them up on screen, and then we will go ahead with today's final. <laughs> Then in time for today's PDC Women's Series event number six final that will take place between Bo Greaves and Rianne O'Sullivan. Showing as warming up on the stream. Pete, <laughs> you can't do that. That's bad. <laughs> no, believe. Believe, Pete. Come on, man. Pete, 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 you wait. Exactly, she only got to take two more for it. Don't worry. Good plan, Charles. Hope your practice goes well, buddy. One man blade six. Good decision. to that. <sighs> Todd Bunch. Not sure. No, not heard of him. If so anyone's got any more questions they want answering before the end of the show, get them in now.
some stats for you guys before this final. Big thanks to FEBS Days. I think his name's Colin on Twitter. Uh, Rihanna's reached her fourth Women's Series final and her second this year. Uh, of those three so far, she's been beaten in all three, though. Um, this is their second time they've met in the Women's Series, and Bo does lead the head-to-head 1-0. Uh, they met last year in Women's Series 18. It's warming up. Brady Bunch is before me, guys. Let's leave that one for when Barzi's back. He's old enough. You pies. One last kick out for the day. Any more predictions, folks? Apart from Pete backing against his wife. That's a bit better. level here through the first leg is by with the advantage so <clears throat> this sort of range that's been going for Rian today hello she takes out the 114 to win the first leg in 15 darts Quite firing yet as bow, and this is the moments that Ryan needs to take advantage of. Keep that scoreboard ticking over, take your chance, and hold your leg. Hmm. 
and that invites a bit of pressure though. <clears throat> No, she hasn't. Your wife's cousin is not now named Crystal Clear. What is Crystal Clear is that Bogreaves is, for one reason or another, not firing on all cylinders, and she takes a 2-0 deficit to Rianne O'Sullivan around the houses from the tops. This is, this is such a crucial leg for Rianne now. A double break here is massive. And still treble us for Bo. As Ram finds a 140. It's a ton from Bo. A response with similar from Rian will keep her in the ascendancy just about. Bo needs a 140 or better to leave a finish. There's a 137. A ton in response from Rianne. Bo Edge's favourite once again as she's got the dart. She leaves 56. What can Rianne do? We've already seen a 141 from her today. We've seen that 114. Not this time, though. She leaves 74. And this should be two darts for Bo Greaves to get a mark on the board. And it's not gone this time. Dublin is deserting Bo right now. 74 for Rianne O'Sullivan for a 3 0 lead over Bo Greaves in a Women's Series final. If I'm not mistaken, Bo Greaves is currently 1 from 14 on the outer ring. But crucially, that is a 1 and not a naught from. This is the most animated I think I've ever seen, Bo. She's pulling faces when she misses. She was fake running on the spot behind Rianne.
Nah, Excalibur, I'm not buying it. <laughs> you do not have a cousin called Crystal Clear. Rihanna's been Bo's closest rival lately, RE WDF. Yeah, because we've, we've not really seen much of Mercury. Dieter's not really fired on all cylinders. And Rihanna just keeps getting better as well, by the way. However, this is now two apiece. That's the break back. And it's now a best of five from here in which Bo Greaves has the darts. How much will Rihanna O'Sullivan regret missing out on that third leg? And the fourth, to be fair. She just had darts at it. One, six, one after nine for Bo. She's starting to find that little bit more of a rhythm right now. Rihanna Sullivan has had darts to win all four legs. However, she now trails three two. Good responses from Rian. One, two, one after nine. Six starts from here, minimum. And that's a lovely setup. Level at three apiece. I know it's all if, buts and maybes, but Rianne had the chance to win five out of six legs. She could have wrapped this title up. Instead, we're locked in at three apiece, and it's Bo Greaves with the advantage of throw in effectively a best of three right now. It's amazing just how often that 180 is right at the end of Bo's fingertips when she needs it. Turn from Bo, an outside chance here at the 1 2 1 then. Had a look at this in the last leg and left 24. This time she leaves 64. Will she get a go at it? 87 for Greaves. Doesn't go. 
Just on single 17, treble 20, inside on a double 5. And Mariano Sullivan has missed more chances. The 5 doesn't go. Another opportunity for Rian for a 4-3 lead. And that's not gone either. Is the head-to-head -head record playing on the mind of Rian O'Sullivan? Another chance. You don't get many. You shouldn't get as many chances against Bo Greaves as you we have seen in this final right now. Rian O'Sullivan takes advantage of the last one and is now throwing for the match. A victory that would put a £2,700 ahead of ninth place. <laughs> Trebleless from Bow. A huge one-two-one -one visit. Two trebles for O'Sullivan. Bo can't leave a finish from three-six-three. Three. She only leaves three-zero-four. So it's at least six darts from one-nine-five for Rian O'Sullivan. Potentially more. We expect more as Rian leaves ninety. <clears throat> Breeze fires in 140 to leave 164, but it is now in Rihanna Sullivan's hands. 90 for her first women's series title. Leaves tops. Greaves, 164. She couldn't, could she? Not this time. Leaves 68, and it's three more for Rihanna Sullivan. The Dublin has not been great in this match, but it goes first time this time. Rianne O'Sullivan adds her name to the list of ladies that have won a PDC Women's Series event. She beats Bo Greaves 5-3 in the final. It is possible. She can be beaten. Doesn't happen very often. That's only Bo's second loss since the World Match Play last year where she returned to the PDC Women's Series. But that ends another mini streak of wins for Bo Greaves and is at the hands of Rianne O'Sullivan, who pockets £2,000, moves up on the race to Blackpool Order of Merit. That places her pretty neatly, actually. She's now third on the overall Order of Merit, £1,800 ahead of Fallon Sherrick, just £300 Behind Makuru Suzuki, another solid day tomorrow. And Rihanna Sullivan can find herself sitting pretty in second place in the Women's Series Order of Merit. The race to the World Championship, remember, is top two. Long way to go for that one, though. More importantly, just six events now before the PDC Women's Series uh, World well, Match Play. Uh, Rihanna Sullivan now sits 4,700. She's 1,300 better off than Lisa Ashton, two in fourth place. 2,700 better off than Kim, Kim Holden in ninth place. Solid prediction from you, Pete, backing your wife to lose 5-1. But uh, it all ends in joy for you indeed. Um, thank you very much to everybody that has joined me and Phil throughout today as we tick towards a nine and a quarter hour long stream. We'll be back again from 10 a.m. tomorrow to do it all over again for event number seven and eight. Uh, the Motor Super Series is now live on the Motor Super Series YouTube channel. Uh, catch all of the group games over on there uh, before Sporty Stuff TV take over for the semifinals and beyond. 
the PDC Euro Tour is in action um, over in Prague. Uh, plenty of big names in action as the Seeds join today. Obviously, it's Saturday session. Um, what about Monday night as well for the live lounge? Don't forget that at all. Um, but once again, big thank you to everybody that has joined myself and Phil uh, throughout today. We'll be back tomorrow morning uh, with plenty more action for you guys. Thanks for watching. Speech of Warriors.